like why lie that I'm allergic? Because it makes them look worse, therefore inclining me to get a refund a little bit more. Three, two, one, go. Pink Walrus. Oh, is the name of the boba? Oh, I have no idea. A lot of boba places are pretty small. There's no real like international giants or like, you know, countrywide chain like, you know, like a Pizza Hut. I gotta readjust and my shoulder is literally feels broken. Yeah, exactly. I'm guilt tripping the company to give me a refund. I'll take the potatoes. All right, come over then. Now look, I did in fact eat the potatoes. However, I did get a, uh, a refund. Hit him with blubbers. I hit him with, uh, you really fucked up. I'll let it slide. Healthy tight time. I mean healthy, because I'm not sitting like crouched, like slouched over for once. No, actually I have a... Uh, I have really, really bad shoulder pain at the moment. Unfortunately. Frozen yogurt chain? Frozen yogurt chain doing boba. Interesting. I have an armor scrap here. Might be time to use it. Yeah, exactly. I just was like, yep, I'm allergic. That's it. End of story. Any blue blue greens in the chat? Oh, it's a blue blue red. I'll take that. Yoink. Lion eyes want. Ooh, a blue blue green. I'm getting spooned today in this run. Very nice. Log in, dude. The meal code a bit a bit faster, I think. Bonus Atlas points. Uh, do you have all the things on the left hand side? Guess those are all points. Pretty sure all the Maven encounter things are points. I think. I don't remember if we got points for the feared. But there's no way to like check check, which is weird. I feel like that should be in the game. No one's streaming Elden Ring. Well, Quinn's still trying to beat some boss. Something like that. <laughs> no, people don't stream Elden Ring because the viewership is bad. It's a one pump and leave game. It's like how anybody who streams Lost Ark that doesn't have uh, giveaways. Viewership. Chart with downward trend. Unless you're specifically someone who plays like a Dark Souls game, it's hard to maintain viewership over there outside of like a fad or streaming your main game and then twitching over. Then doing beat Dark Souls 3 death. Why do I always hit enter as if the game won't bug out and log me into the wrong character? Chip, do you think if I reported that bug, it would get noticed? Is, do I see a blue blue green or a chromatic wand? No, I don't. I do see a blue green chest piece. Do I grab the blue green helm? Sure, why not? Well, anybody who streamed Lost Ark for a long period of time actually profited pretty well. So people like Nugian, oh, this is a bad layout. People like Nugian who streamed it for uh, for quite a while before it came out, and then Rise Kitty was like the mastermind of it all. He knew that he'd play the game a lot. Lost Ark, I mean. Oh, actually, there's a blue red here. He knew he'd play a lot of Lost Ark. And so he streamed a lot of Lost Ark leading up to the launch. Now that's pretty much all he plays. Ugh. I don't even know what to do with my inventory. I want to do this wand though, in case it's like damage to spells. It is. Dock arrive. Okay, these are all vendors, right? Yeah, they're all vendors. I'm going to drop this because I just want space for other stuff. And I think I have to sell the armor scrap if I want to be able to buy stuff. What bug? You know when you mule on a character and then you you log out on the other one. So like I mule Scion, I log on my witch. If I log out and then log in fast enough, it'll actually log me back in on the Scion instead of my witch. Like if I just log out and spam click enter, it logs me out on the wrong character because it's not like saved which one I'm, I'm on. I don't think it'd get fixed, but it's just me. Log in, dude. Like it's been a bug since like Exocon practice. Boom. Uh, am I dead? No, I somehow got out of that. I don't know how. I have like no armor on right now. Kind of a scary situation to be in. Oh well. I have our hats. That's it. Fast attacks. Yoink. I think his extra cold damage of spells will actually really help me out. 
This will be a magma orb moment. Group frenzy on death. That's terrifying, actually. Dude, like I said, all I find are hats. Galevies? Sure. Fuck onslaught. Nope. No, no. Already four. I'm just too fast. It's not a me only bug, dude. You literally just log out and then you hit enter. And if you hit enter too fast, you end up uh, on, on the wrong character. It's not a me only thing, dude. I'm telling you. I need space for the medicine chest and then another, like, long boy could go in. What happens if I find something that's a rare item? I drop any of these, I guess. What do I do with this rare item? I should probably hold it. Uh, it's too late. My inventory is too uh, wound around it. I could cancel the cell on that, I guess. Yo, boots. Also, the red, red, blue. I'll take them. Holy flame totem. Holy flame totem angle. Alright, nice. Hail rake with uh, some magic boys. We take that. Please don't freeze me. Berserker. Oh, red, green, blue. Alright, good links. Medicine. Give me this. And what is overcharge? Double jewelry? Yoink. Okay, sick. When to mash lower? I should, at this moment in time. Oops. Peep this vendor. Could have been a bit faster, well. Uh, what was it again? I think it's just literally Holy Flame Totem and Flame Wall, isn't it? That is. Frost Bomb, Frost Blink. Is that Moose Feed? No, it's not. Oh, I accidentally sold the Red Red Blue, didn't I? No, I didn't, actually. I'm fine. Holy Flame Totem. Summon Phantasm. Let's go ahead and pop on this real quick. Let's do this, this. Oh. And this, there we go. Holy dams, dude. That damage is kind of crazy. Uh, I'll do this, actually. Is this the layout where it goes right here? No, it's not. This is a uh, top side of the layout. And then, well, there's going to be the left. Yep. Yep, a Joe. Everything there will die to the Holy Flame Totem. Holy Flame Totem angle is actually pretty huge. Gem's actually pretty cool. Wisdom. Uh, I'll pass. What's the time? Mm. Mm. If I can super mega speed run through ledge, it might be okay, but for right now, not very pleased. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Any currency I can use? Nope. I'm halfway to a transmute. That's about it. Iron ring. Yoink. Alright, that's huge. That changes quite a bit. Iron ring. I think green gem here. I'm gonna try lightning craft instead of cold. Maybe I'm trolling. Should this be transmuted already? Oh, I don't have a transmuted one. Augmentation. Yoink that. I'll grab every wisdom I can. Because who knows what I'll need to get this alteration. Oh, alright. Yeah. So, plus one mana gain on kill. That's huge. Alright, as long as it's not six mods, which it... Ooh, it's five mods. Nice. Another one's up? Was that another transmute back there? I swear I heard something. Oh, I'm dead? No, I'm fine. Arcanist Dominion, huge. Ooh. Yeah, I think the, uh, the added cold damage actually does a very substantial amount of damage. Wait, you've never gotten the thing where you log into the Scion after being on the Witch? That's crazy. How'd the run last night go? It was just slightly too slow for me to be happy with it. Do I have to grab your wisdom? No, I think I'll be fine on alterations. As long as I don't get super screwed, I'll be okay. I think what I miss the most about Orbstorm Stormbus Mine is like the very little amount of damage you could do with Stormbus Mine just by throwing out one, right? Like I miss ha having that, uh, that option. 
was about to say, it feels like I don't have MS boots, and then I realized, oh yeah, I don't have MS boots. Is there anything of value over here? Nah, not really. Huge damage on Holy Flame Totem here. Masters on main account? Yep, I have Masters uh, the other night, I think. There's something about, like, about, like, getting a certain ELO where I feel like, am I just carried? Like, like, what if I just, like, got really lucky and I hit, like, Masters? Or what if I just got, like, really lucky and I hit, like, uh, like, Diamond 1? And so there's, like, a certain level of, like, satisfaction I get. Oh, what? There's actually over here. A certain level of satisfaction I get from doing something, like, twice. Level 8. Alright, badass. I'm gonna need a lot of rare items here, though. Ooh, unique items. That could be much better, but if it's actually, like, a good unique, then I kind of have to use it. But if it's, like, a tabula, I guess I sell it. Oh, I'd be tragic. I think getting a tabula would be the worst thing in the world here. Because, unironically, I need, um, like, alterations. Okay. Rare boots as well. Alright, move seed boots. Alright, side of breath, I think... I should sell Side of Breath, right? This is like unethical to use. I think that's actually unethical. I can try it and see what the DPS difference is with and without. Yeah, I've already transmuted this. I don't know why. I think I need blue, blue, blue a lot more. All right, watch what happens to my damage, by the way. Watch what happens to my damage. My damage right now is 97, and now my damage becomes uh, 228. And it only goes up, by the way. Okay, my damage is, like, actually the most insane it could possibly be right now. Isn't it up here? I'm pretty sure it's up here, Chip. I'm just... I'm just... Estimating, but yeah, it is up here. It's like... Wow, I'm just actually the best player alive. I feel like this is an ethical little swap to use. I guess I could just put it on my POB. I don't have to actually use it. I feel like it's too disgusting to use. Yo, what's up, Grandpa Chris? How we doing? Imposter Elo. Yeah, I don't know. I get this. I get, ooh, that was a jeweler's orb that I just left behind, unfortunately. This is a chromatic. Let's go ahead and take that. Uh, no, I don't want that. I don't think I can use this blue blue, actually. Even though it's 3B and I need 3B later, I can't use it, so. Vendor. And I think I vendor this as well. But I'm not as certain about it. Yeah, I'm not as sold. I don't think it's gonna be up here, but I have to check up here anyways. Unfortunately. Yep, it's not up here. Like I called it. These are absolution links over here. Also, I can move this blue over. Then I got a nice little holy flame totem. My level 12 swap. I'll do that probably on the walk. You know, like, THE walk. This one should be a bottom right layout. I'm proposing. Actually, is it bottom right or is it a loop-de-loop? -loop? Looks like it's going to be bottom right to me, but... Okay, with this room right here, it's a loop-de-loop. -loop, like, almost guaranteed. It's going to go, like, right over here. Watch this. It's going to be two seconds away. It's going to be in this next room. Watch this. See? Told you guys. Now we're level 9 and, like, 71%. Which that part on slot. Oh, literally almost no skill has uh, attack of the moving on. Eee. Okay, let's go ahead and swap the frost blink, not frost blink, uh, frost bomb, and freezing pulse, and you're gonna see some insane freezing pulse damage. Watch this, chat, watch this. I think I get strength next point? Yeah, I do. You're yellow, yo, what's up, wood? You mean your twitch color? It actually kind of bothers me when people don't have, like, one unanimous twitch color. If you don't set your twitch color, it just kind of, what is this? I think we take these, do we not? I think we just take those. Yeah, if you don't set your Twitch color, it'll be a new color every day. Do you think I should use the Cider Breath until I need it for Ult Shards? No, I'll pass. This will be a level 3 Mana Flask. I don't think I need a new wand. Actually, I kind of do. Oh, but... No, never mind. Let's see, this could be the most insane thing ever. I don't know about using this chat. I feel kind of unethical. Because it doesn't increase the actual damage of Absolution, however. Although, isn't this like a small amount of damage? 
Yeah, it is. I mean, one to three cold is not like that insignificant in my opinion. Yo, check out this check out this magic pack farm right here. Chance orb, doctoral arrival. Let's go to chance orb this. Max charges, that's badass. Chance to avoid being frozen. Sick. Topography. Alright, farm the mobs for me, holy flame totem. JD amulet. Uh no, I'll pass. This should be a strength node. Little holy flame totem, yep. Never changed from fire brick red. Yeah, I don't think I've ever changed from hot pink. Because I'm hot. And pink is a mood. I'm saying. Alright, this one's probably in the middle, middle. So I can do this while I'm while I'm walking there. It's not close to the waypoint. Oh, I didn't probably Cause all the flasks are bad, Chip. It's cause all the flasks are bad. No good flasks at the moment. I want a four flask kit, but a medium mana flask is good enough for Mervale when you have this much damage. Please don't freeze me. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna die of cringe over here. I wanna open all these chests. Let's go kill fairy graves while I'm here. It should be like the easiest sub 20 of my life, I think. I imagine. You know what? I will embrace the dark side and equip and just keep the side of breath. Yeah. Mini damage, mini damage, mini duration. I'm gonna take this Lord of the Dead as well. And then I think Absolution will absolutely farm. We don't get the offering we want, spirit offering, because it gives like as much damage as flesh offering, but it actually gives like resists as well. And so because of that. Because of that, we need to uh, spend a transmute on it. You could also grab vitality if you want, but I'll pass on that. I need alterations instead of transmute, so I'm gonna ID the rare item here. Also, I need a shield for later, so I'll just drop it. I'll just keep that. But we need a shield like turbo lane in the run. And we aren't in dire need of alterations. If I was in dire need, I would probably sell that, but all right, the second. Oh, I'm like lagging. Like actually desyncing on locked up. Okay, this is our huge XP's right here. Yeah, I was gonna say, it should be a level up. We should get Absolution. We actually log out because it puts us in the middle of the town instead of at the waypoint. Let's peep. Peep the ring. Yeah, I'll just grab Flesh Offering though. Probably should grab a green gem. Uh, where's the Offering at? Spirit Offering, I believe. Yeah, and then we grab Absolution. And now we're popping. I should check the wands. Oh well. Ice Bottle Faith worth a lot, because uh, it adds a big amount of damage. We actually drop this, we're going to go Absolution, Absolution, Onslaught, and then added Lightning, and we drop the Freezing Pulse as well. Dang, this double blue is actually kind of useless now. Flesh Offering? No, Spirit Offering. Thank you very much. We also forgot uh, Zombies. We, we forgot it by the way chat, we forgot the Zombies. I peep the damage right now. Alright. Bend to these two and I get a transmute. It should be the easiest sub 20 of my life, like I said. And then on top of that, we're cheating with the amulet, so it should be a super free uh, act one. It should actually just be able to equip the same mode for the entire run. Also, getting cold res is pretty sick in act one. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get any rings, but. It's fine for now. I'd rather have no rings in Act 1 and then get double Topaz rings just for free. Than, uh, some random garbage. Okay, big node, Enduring Soul. Okay, we got a ramp for a second here. You might say Z-Deeps, but every, every build is Z-Deeps against bosses for the first two seconds. Alright, now peep the damage. Like, the adds haven't even spawned yet, and she's already, like, almost phased. Okay, we need a few of the ads to die though, so I can spirit offering the 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 ads, because they actually gain so much damage. I wonder if Holy Flame Totem is even really that worth. I just like it because of the consecrated ground. Okay, she's gonna phase again. I'm gonna flame dash over her, and she'll phase again. Uh, any boots off Mervale can be. 15 MS, so we're gonna deal the rare items first. Wanna E kiss? What's the difference between E kissing and regular kissing? Dual res movement speed? I mean, I don't think it beats like. 
Like, it kind of beats my current boots, but in terms of colors, no, it doesn't. I need more scrolls, some to vendor this stuff, and then ignore the, uh... Yeah. Ignore the boots here, the two boots. Selling these two normal items, these two normal gems, will give me two scroll fragments, which will put me up to five, which is one scroll of wisdom. And then selling uh, the five uh, transmutation shards gives me another scroll. So now I have two scrolls, perfect for IDing these two boots. And we did in fact find 15 MS, so I'm just gonna drop uh, the uh, Summon Phantasm, level Summon Phantasm in my offhand. And the reason why I'm using out of lighting, by the way, instead of uh, Summon Phantasm on Absolution, is simply because of the fact that um, we want the on hit to do as much damage as humanly possible. Here we're gonna go ahead and take uh, Overwhelm, Physical Resist. Then we're gonna take more minion nodes after this. And then I didn't find the den, but I have a feeling I know where it is. Just in time for one singular run? Yep, you sure are. I think I'm gonna drop this helm. Mm, blue or red's actually kinda, kinda sick. I don't notice the throw it on it. To be honest, but it'd be like Holy Flame Totem, summon whatever. Yeah, I think it's gonna be better than this because I've got so many green sockets at the moment. I'm like chilling. Yeah, I think this helm's gonna outscale this one. Goodbye. Alteration. Fuck arrived, dude. Three B wand. Rare pair of boots. Alright, we need one singular scroll of wisdom to ID the Quicksilver, but I'm gonna go for two to also ID the rare boots. Let's try and block recovery, let's hope for a good prefix, charge recovery, that's pretty sick. Okay, the boots don't have a mess, therefore they're basically vendor food. I'm gonna transmute this wand, because I definitely want to use a blue blue wand later on. Spell damage, that should be better than the one to three cold damage, whatever. I'm gonna go into minion nodes here. And I think the spell damage should be more damage. Let's peep it. 290, 294. Ooh. Spicy. Scroll of Wisdoms. I should probably be picking those up, but I do have plenty of uh, alterations. As time goes on, this uh, flight damage is going to be worse and worse, so. Absolution Endgame. I'm scared to click on links from anybody that's a first time viewer. Click at your own risk. Boop, boop. I actually really like the first time viewer, first time chatter or whatever. At first I didn't like it very much because it was like, yo, what am I to do? Welcome to the channel for the very first time. And a lot of people like, will join a channel, use a command, and then just like dock leave forever. But now it lets me know like, oh, this guy told me I'm a poo poo butt butt face, but he's the first time chatter. Okay, I'll just not listen to what he has to say then. Somebody's coming in and calling me dog shit and washed. Oh, they've never been here before. Alright, cool. Though usually it's the mods that are bullying me, so... Boop. Alteration just falling out of the sky. Very cool, actually. Actually, pretty good. I'm dying! I should use that a bit sooner, I think. Washed. Okay. Cute today, thanks. Surprised it's not long as it's saying that. I need Skitterbots, and then I need Herald of Thunder. My opinion is valid. That's a band, Duxon. That's actually a Perma. Lord of the Dead. I can get zombies later. Zombies will arrive right around the same time as like minion speed. So I'm doing fine there. I might take minion damage actually. Eh. I don't know. Maybe. We can also go Herald of Purity for like single target, but I don't have the red socket for that. I'd have to drop a uh, Holy Flame Totem. What am I doing right now? Bone Peak is a first time viewer. That is actually pretty good, Chad. Bone Peak is first time viewer is not in fact a perma ban. Do I need strength? Oh shit, I actually need strength. I don't know regret that out. I actually need strength, dude. Crazy. Alright, time to uh, replace the belt, I suppose. Because my ability is not leveling up at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, I think. Oh, I 
Don't know why I thought it'd be a non-spider. Engaging in league mechanic. Oh, I see an essence. I click. Superior flame wall. Huh. That's kind of cool. Once I get desecrate in a sec, I'll be pretty happy with that, I think. Fire res. No, that's not even useful for this fight. And we're gonna go heavy belt afterwards. Do I see heavy belt? I see a cloth belt. Any of these pieces of jewelry could have strength on them, but I can't ID them because I'm too poor. Oh, I'll equip the auras quickly. Where do I even get strength at? You can't get strength on like one singular node anymore. Used to be able to take like just this node for plus 10, but I can't do that anymore. Uh, jeez, dude. I sell a transmute. I think I have to sell a transmute. There's nothing I need for mech when that costs a transmute. Yeah, there's no way that'll be better. Yeah, we sell the transmute. I should be good. I can sell like five of these shards as well. That'll let me ID at least one item in my inventory. One singular item. Three of the scrolls will go towards uh, a heavy belt. Yeah, that seems fun. I feel like I'm popping off right here. I want these wands. Alright, nice. Feeling better than the Inquis runs? No, it's not, but... Time out. No. Yeah, no, it's not feeling better than the Inquis runs. It's just that, um... Thank you for the sub. Heavy belt base. Give me control destruction. Me? Me? Oh, not you. It's yo. Audit TV, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and sell these. Phonetically, it sounded a little different there. That's all. A red, red, blue. I don't think there's anything to do with that, to be honest. Uh, it is really good stats, though. Eh. Why not? I do gotta move a few gems over though. So then Phantasm, Holy Flame Totem, and I think this is my offering down here. Yeah, it is. I don't think there's anything to do with the Superior Flame Wall, I'm gonna be honest. Let's move this over. Cause I know the dex requirement right now. What if I beat it in a second though? That'd be kinda cool. Absolution leveled up. Should've done that a bit sooner, I think. We got an Essence and we got a, what's it called here? An Alchemy. So it works. Okay, pop off on him. Give me Topaz Ring. Thank you. Gold Amulet. That's actually pretty huge. We can use that pretty well. I need, like, some way of getting it, though. So I need to, like, sell these. Did I just... No, I didn't. Okay, I'm fine. Oh wait, I can't use a gold amulet because I've got a cider breath. What am I doing, dude? Why'd I get rid of that? What's up, Santana? Oh, it's gonna be over this way. Dexterity moment, so I should be able to equip Desecrate. We'll equip Desecrate over here. It's like, all my links are really scuffed right now, though. I want to summon my minions and then do this. Like I said, Herald of Purity is more damage right now. Then Herald of uh, Thunder on single target. Grab as many rare items as humanly possible. Play Tetris as fast as humanly possible. Did I even use Holy Flame Totem properly? I feel like I didn't use it on the boss very well. Which side is Alira? I think it's red side. Give me this. What about this? I don't think I can use this very well. I need a proc onslaught here. That's what I need to do. I believe minion build equals kill all, right? Yeah, hello. Don't know why I used Desecrate there, but I used it, dude. Am I 18 yet? No, I'm not 18 yet. Wait. No, I'm 17 and a half. I'm gonna need some more XP then. Hmm. Yo, I need Scrolls of Wisdoms really bad. If you could drop me like a whetstone, like right now, I'd be incredibly happy. Eternally grateful. Do I sell portal scrolls? I could sell two portal scrolls, sure, why not? Oh, I need to sell three because I need uh I need zombies from Act One. 
Not 18 yet. Yeah, it's a League of Legends top lane main moment, right? If you're picking up what I'm putting down. That's 10 MS. This is kind of garbage. Okay. Skill point, raise zombie, and what else do I do? Zombie, and I think there's one other gem. Unbound elements, I think. That's what I'm thinking of. Get you an impact <laughs> Okay, what do I draw up here? I had to drop something. I could even drop two things if I wanted to. I think I dropped the holy flame or the flame wall or whatever. And the holy flame totem. No, 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 I keep the summon phantasm though. Eh. Yeah, we'll just drop the flame wall because the flame wall's falling off. And then even the zombies are pretty useless right now, so we'll chill on that for a sec. Alright, if it's not down here, that oh it is down here, kind of man. I was like, if it's not down here, then I guess I go some other way. And please proc on slot, sir. Thank you. Ugh, get off me. Clowns. Also, I've got like 12 billion Pezza points to spend, which kind of go over here. These are pretty important nodes. Tech cast speed. Shouldn't it just turn right here and actually be right over here? You can grab life if you wanted to be safe, by the way. Feel free to, to grab that if you'd like. I'm just choosing not to. Also, getting dexterity used stuff is kind of sick. I believe this is one singular topaz ring. What about the other topaz ring? Eh, I'll just do it on one. Feels like I only get one wand craft off, like, literally every single run, though. Equip. Need to ID this. Sure. Is that flash charges when I get hit? No, it's flash charges when I deal a critical strike. I'm gonna die, dude. At what level am I? I'm 18, about to be 19, so I'm fine. Oh, this is bad. Okay, it's fine. There's that whetstone I said I needed from earlier. That'll do, I guess. Portal scroll. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go and put gems on places where they actually make sense. For me, at least. Alright, what I learned from yesterday's run is leave on slot on for a little bit longer. And if I don't kill mobs instantaneously, like these super easy to kill squid mobs, then uh, what I do is just flame dash over them and then I attack like that. Like, see these bears? They don't mean shit. I'll just wait for Herald of Thunder like that. Also works. I need a chess piece actually. A chess piece with six links. Yeah, that'd be nice actually. Solve some blue socket problems. Because I got some pretty nasty socket pressure right now. This green socket? Don't mean shit. It's time right now. It's actually pretty good. We don't even really do minion damage outside of like single target fights, so I don't think Side of Breath really is changing too much. Is Holy Flame Totem considered a, a minion? It should be just a totem, right? It should be classified as something different. There's a small chance this connects. I am actually the luckiest man alive. Very cool. That's wicked. Alright, now it's in one random corner. I gotta check this bottom left corner first because it's just the closest. Wow, I actually am really the luckiest man alive because it's gonna be one of the random three corners. I have no idea which one it will be. Let's grab this, grab this. I got three alterations. Where are they going? I need faster attacks. I guess that's later though. Also, I need a transmute. I guess it's later as well. Chance orb, yoink. What's that chance orb going on? Nothing, I guess. Sure. I kind of do want scrolls, actually. They're kind of valuable. Okay, let's do a wand craft on this and this alone, I think. One singular alteration. Okay, if I do this quickly enough, I got extra time. I remembered everything. Thanks. Am I level 20? Okay, thank god I'm level 20. Wand craft. Damage goes from 332 to uh, 556. Also, was my auras off the whole time, or am I just. Was that just now? Hoping it was just now. 
This is a zombie moment. This would be a really good um Herald of Purity moment, actually. It's a nice little time to swap, but I'll leave this on for now. How's it going? It's going pretty alright, Menno. How about yourself? Pretty decent time considering it's minions. I think my biggest issue is just going to be speed, possibly survivability, because I need lightning res. Oh, mana is also an issue at the moment. Not anymore. Also, I think I forgot my holy flame totem on the boss. Oopsies. I right, should just die to the minions. Yo, any 20 MSers? Oh wait, no, this is a shield, sir. And a pair of gloves. Yo, time? Hello? Hello? Blizzard. Fix you again. Turn up to work? Nice. Yeah, that's actually a pretty decent minion time, I'd say. Yoink. I think those mobs died. Pretty sure they did. What's this? Double armor? It's a hybrid flask. You know, I've always considered using hybrid flasks in my run, and I look like I ever have. I don't think I've literally ever used them. Hmm. I really want a double jewelry. Because I do, in fact, need a piece of jewelry. As long as it says fine toolman in the crematorium, you're pretty much good to go, by the way. I'll do the shield. Why not? Red green gloves. Could be Dock Arrive. Alright, all these gloves are bad. What about the shield? Also bad. Uh, I guess I equip this. It's a bit weird though. Let's go Holy Dominion and then I'm like pretty much immune to dying. I could soft course strat it and like place a portal for uh, this right here, the sewers, and then die in crematorium. There's something about that that I don't quite like in a handful of runs. Is there a gem I'm missing in Act 2 by the way? Because I don't think there is. Whetstone, that's actually pretty huge. As long as I don't have an accidental Rustic Sash incident, we'll be fine. Uh, what's the link in my offhand? Nothing. Okay, it turns out that both my auras are actually my wand. What happened last time? Oh, I just wasn't very happy with the time is all. I learned quite a lot about the run. Like, I ended up doing a bit of PUB work and found that, um, going like the cold node early on was wasted. Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta go around this way. Learned that, like, if I space out different passive points a little differently. I can actually hit different, uh, not like breakpoints, but certain like, just passive points that I want for certain fights. So long as I meet the XP requirement that I should be meeting. Like what's my XP right now? 21? Yeah, that's about where I want to be. Okay, let's move this over. Let's summon some zombies. Throw down our holy flame totem. Yo, you need to stop that. I get convocate soon. Convocate costs an alteration. Also, I get despair really soon. Yo, what are my minions doing? They're literally attacking nothing. Badass, dude. Rah. Okay, I have to buy convocation. I could also buy wrath, but I don't like that aura very much. I think it's this gem right here, isn't it? Oh, I messed up. I don't know what it looks like. It's that one. Dang. Let's grab Despair, thank you. And I should Vendor here. I don't know why I didn't, because I go like three, four zones without Vendoring. That was just bad, dude. Ah, oh, my shoulder. Did I do the Crypt Trial? Now we come back after we get um Shield Charge. It doesn't make sense to do it beforehand because we end up going so much faster afterwards. Also, because we one shot of the mobs, um, we proc onslaught constantly. But it's also going to be a part of the reason why our XP isn't very almighty here. It's because we're straight up missing like two zones that I could have already have cleared. And instead I'm coming back when I'm like level 26, 27, so I won't really be getting any XP from like doing the, uh, the Crypt Trial. You know, the place where you get the golden hand job from in Act 2. That place. Augmentation. Yoink. Let's keep it moving. I'm not wearing a chest piece right now. Like I said though, that could solve a lot of socket issues because I'm having some socket pressure. If I found like a blue blue chest piece right now, it'd be almighty. That would actually be the best case scenario. Yo, zombie, you're not going to finish that off. Absolution, you're not going to hit him. Alright, cool. Good to know. Alright, now the damage is kind of Z-deeps, so I'm going to be honest. We're starting to get to that point. Holy Dominion, thank you. 
So when I get to that point where I'm getting kind of depressed using Onslaught. And then for whatever reason it's just like 12 million damage sometimes and other times it does zero damage. Absolution's kind of a weird skill, huh? First character this league. This is like my 300th character this league or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how you'd keep track. I don't think PB Ninja keeps track of characters above like level 50, so. Record of finishing all the acts on current patch? Who knows? Nobody keeps track of current acts because nobody's speedrun the game really since 3.15 because the game's dog shit. Like, no, like, people have ran it, obviously, but it's not something that's taken very seriously currently. Everybody just has like 100% runs because they're most applicable to like either league starts or like actual races. Nobody does like level 80 sprint races anymore. So we don't know what that time would look like. This is good on red maps. Mm, it's good enough to get you to red maps, yeah. Am I not 24? I'm not even close to 24, therefore I can't look for a 4 link. You have the 3.17 world record at 10 hours. I'm sure somebody out there has got 9 hours. Sorry, brother. Okay, I figured out the pathing I want to do. Is it through AoE? No, it's through the minion damage stuff. Or the minion attack cast speed. So we go like minion health, minion damage, minion accuracy. Then we grab sacrifice. Then we path through health, grab plus 50 life. Then we go uh, spiritual aid. Yeah, it's gonna do the pathing. After that, I'm kind of lost. After that, I think I just path down through Templar, grab the minion damage down there, and then I could pretty much go wherever I want. Yeah, sounds good to me. As long as I get spiritual aid and the node on the left, I'm chilling. Go. Beat the record, you got two hours. Where's the video at? You TP to Act 10. Sorry, sir. This is not the Chinese client. It's also not Lost Ark, so you can't swipe for uh, for power in this game. Am I enjoying Absolution? It's okay. It's mostly I'm thinking about this paycheck from all the pay I mean, um, loyal viewers. You know, it's about the fans. It's about me. Um, you know, producing content that's that's meaningful and really giving back to the community so they can fork over their money, or I mean, add money, I mean, add revenue, I mean, viewership, I mean, you know, I just want to give the people what they want, so. <laughs> it's all about the community. Swipe now, that's right. Uh, I don't actually need that much XP from Docs though. Oh, wait, I entered Docs at like 22 and a half, that's pretty bad. Um, maybe I go for the world's smallest bit of XP. No, this is about all I can do. That's pretty much the extent of what I can do here, actually. Yo, give me, like, a... Oh, chest piece. Did I grab it in time? Oh, I got it, yes. That's, like, a level 28 chest piece, though. What the... Let me go ahead and grab the belt so I can look for flask duration or reduce flash charge as used, which it had not, neither one of those on it, by the way. So I got scammed. It did have, like, 60 life cold res, though, so that's... That's pretty good. That's, 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 that's pretty value. Last mana recovery rate. Well, either way, this is really defensive. Like, really, really high survivability. And then I think instead of one of these ruby rings, I'm gonna equip this two stone ring, because my fire rate should be perfectly fine here. Yeah, it's hard chilling. Let's uh, just go with, like, this instead. Nice, now our resists are a lot more balanced. Sick. I'm pathing through minion life slash damage stuff. Once I get sacrificed, I think the zombies become a little more tanky, just survivable. Uh, rogue exile, you say? Sure. Let me summon the zombies, though. Uh, no, I think that's pretty bad, actually. And yeah, I'm 24 here. So that means I get to equip this belt. I should not struggle on strength. I'm not struggling on any gem. Wow, that's actually pretty rare. That's pretty uncommon. Very cool. Uh, the shield could be sick, actually. Peep the shield. Check this out. Also, do I have any, like, bad essences? Not really. Oh, the shield's actually got life and all res. Sorry, let's go ahead and sell this one then, I guess. So, leveling a character to 100 this league. Mm, I might do, like, a level 100 soul stuff in hardcore, uh, for fun run later on. Just to practice for next league. Where's my convocation at? Also, this chest piece does not work out as well. Because that one's level 28. 
What about the boots? 25 MS or 20 MS? No, no MS actually. I don't think a single amulet here matters. Though I'd grab Jade Amulet if I had to be chosen at gunpoint. At this point, I go up and do Library before doing Piety. As well, I do this, I guess. Yeah, it's garbage, just like what I expected it to be. We need Dexterity, don't I? Yeah, I do. I might have to grab a Dexterity node. Yo, my zombies died, who would have guessed? Let's grab Minion Life. We're going over to the Minion Attack and Cast Speed. Well, actually, it's Minion Attack and Cast Speed, but it's Minion Attack Speed affects you as well. And that affects shield charge, so that's why we go shield charge in this run. And we get them around the same time as well, so. This guy's fast. I feel like I can do this act like probably two, three minutes faster. I don't know how to bump up my damage even more though. I would love to have double wand craft, but I only really have like a level 20 wand and a level 8 wand craft, so. Go this way. Once I get shield charge, we'll be popping. I think I just chrome this to get a red green here. Because I don't think I have a red green anywhere else that's like actually usable. Okay, that's blue. Okay, perfect. Nice. Although I do need some blue sockets. I'll just replace this over there. What do I do with this green socket though? I'll be missing desecrate. Missing desecrate on bosses is actually kind of pain champ because then it basically means I'm missing the offering on certain boss fights. Yo, this doesn't connect anywhere. Okay. It's CVT right there. Alright, here we're just looking for the waypoint. The way into the second part of the library is never going to be in the first part of the library, if that makes sense. I just actually... no, nah, I don't want to equip this, even though it's a huge amount of life. Nah, I'll equip it. Why not? Why not, brother? Chance orb? That could go towards something. I guess. Alright, shield charge, faster attacks, and I guess Herald of Purity matters. But I'd kind of rather grab Herald of Purity for Mech 2. I can also grab faster casting for Mech 2 if I wanted to. Okay, what about these gems though? Okay, curse on W. Let's just gem convocate. Left click, I suppose. Convocation. Alright, this is where my brain power has to start kicking in. I have to start using it. Or something. I could put skitterbots over here, but I think my colors become like very strange in a second. It's not gonna look like that. The room I'm looking for. It'll look like this. Yeah, there we go. Minion attack speed. Huge, we'll get him at basically the same time. Traded my soul to the devil. No, I think XL did. Yo, if I actually equip this, so check this out. The shield has dexterity on it. That means that if I if I have somehow 70 dexterity, we can equip the shield, then take off the dexterity. Guess what I grabbed earlier is a quester roid. That's right, the jade amulet. We equip the jade amulet, we equip the shield, we take off the shield. Simple as. Although I don't meet Oh actually I'm gonna have an issue, it requires level 29. Alright, problem, solution, shield requires level 29. Alright, where's a red green at then? Because I can't get it on that shield over there. Where's a red green at? It's in my gloves. I'm not re-chroming anything else, I'm going to be honest, lads. Alright, I might have to run shield charge without faster attacks for like three levels. That will actually be the biggest... No, I don't need those. That will actually be the biggest pain champ of my life. Well, I do get the attack and cast speed nodes, so that's cool. Grab the shield, take off the shield. That's not quite what you want to be doing here. I could check for a red green, I guess, in the vendor. Try this build last night. Nice login. Let's go feeding frenzy, purchase items, shield charge, faster attacks, and then I guess purity. And level up purity in my fan. And then shield charge in the helm. I guess I'll just use this for now and I don't get to actually make use of it because I've got socket issues. Also got fucking mommy issues as well. Can't seem to get rid of that. You know what, let's just use Herod of Purity for now. Herod of Purity instead of uh, whatever it's called. Oh no, I can't. 2 b one g home. No, I'm good. Wait, isn't this literally the thing I need? Oh yeah, it is. Alright, that's fine. Flame Dash, Arcane Surge. Let's see here. Shield Charge. Yeah, look at how, look at how disgusting this is without faster attacks, by the way. That's all of faster attacks, I'm not a fan. Flame dash on T. Yeah, I don't even want to go do lab until I, uh, I go get the trial. Until I get to equip faster attacks. Oh, 
Twice I still have Onslaught this run. Whereas last run I took it off like super early and it was actually really bad. We should level 27 by the time I'm on Piety. If I get that, then I've got pretty decent XPs, I'd say. Is all just gonna be weapons? I guess so. I think I'm gonna go the Minion Accuracy node because it actually increases Absolution DPS by like 6 trillion for some reason. Maybe not at this point in the campaign, but... I don't know, PvP said that Minion Accuracy for Absolution was like super important at this moment in time. I'm gonna assume it's because Minion Accuracy is dog after like Act 2 or Act 3, just like how a melee run you could have 80% accuracy at this moment for some reason. Don't ask me why or how. Alright, level 70, or level 29, and then we're hard chilling. Until then, we're gonna be slow pokes. Probably like a one hour act two, unfortunately. That's pretty cringe. Oh well. All I know is that after normal lab, our minions are gonna do 10 times the damage. Yo, poison concoction just straight up dropped. I mean, it dropped post library, so it wouldn't have been important, but still kind of a cool find. 20 MS boots? Potentially, perhaps? No. Never lucky. One slot did in fact proc though. Where's my holy flame totem at? It needs to be somewhere I can easily find it. Uh, also, I'm missing an aura, by the way. Did I just drop the Herald of Thunder? Yeah, I did. Right, I'm just gonna drop uh, I'm gonna drop holy flame totem then. Yeah, it's fine. My absolution's kind of farming. Let's go minion accuracy. I think this layout goes this way, like straight, if I'm not mistaken. It goes like straight, and then it goes like, it turns to the right, and then here we are. Yep. Cool. Should I do a Lost Ark to finish the X? That's all right. I kind of had like analysis paralysis on Lost Ark for a while and like wasn't really playing that much. I do my dailies on my main and that was about it. Now I'm actually like doing rapport and I'm doing like this and that and this to get like, you know, skill points and stuff. It's gonna summon minions to where she's gonna be. Please stop moving around so much. Convocation is kind of broken though. I mean, she won't be able to break through this, I'm gonna be honest. Wall of minions. Is there a four link I could find right now? There is. Will I find it though? Eh, who knows. Any four links in the chat? Nope, not that I can see. Almost 29 though, that's kinda cool. I could craft res on a wand, one singular res craft. Keep this, let's go lighting res here. Cause it's pretty relevant. Hit T3, yo grats. I wanna go get the trial. I'm already here, I might as well. Also, this is a layout where I think it's gonna be faster to grab the trial, then go to uh, Scepter of God afterwards. Let's find out though. Yeah, I hit T3 a few days ago as well. I'm pretty chillin'. Game's just like pretty opened up. I actually didn't do my T2 tower, so I'm finishing that now. Why oh, do I have alterations actually? Summon Reaper. I wish that gem was better. Oh well. I need level 29 so bad for the shield so I can use faster attacks. I'm dying over here. Go 14 to 15 weapon on twice. Let me put it this way. If you land a single like 4% chance to upgrade your weapon, don't you think that'd be better than than uh failing like 10 60 percent chances back to back to back think about it once you get to t3 you'll want every little upgrade you can get and just imagine hitting some really small infantile percentage not everybody can hit every 60 percent i failed a bunch so i was like a few days behind my uh my group members or the people that I was playing with, so they did the content without me in tier 3. 
But like, it's fine because I caught up to them now. Uh, let's eddy the helm. That's actually a sick helm in terms of stats. Just got the T2 yogurts. Let's grab Sacrifice and then minion attack speed and I achieved one singular level up for level 28 which is actually kind of over what I need on on this dude. What was it 2 red, 2 blue? It was like... absolute. no I need 3 blue, 1 red. Alright, we hope for the chrome to land. It actually landed. Inshallah, brothers. Alright, I don't have an essence for it though, unfortunately. So all these blue sockets, they gotta go. Alright, we'd be dropping a uh, onslaught though, which I'm not too happy about. Maybe I'll drop it after like getting the lab trial stuff. Like once I start lab at like level 31, I think I'll grab it. Alright, sick. There being 28 here is actually pretty cool as well. Considering changing mains, why would he having problems with right now? I know what class. Right now I'm having problems on uh, War Dancer. Like, I'm having mana problems, the cooldowns feel pretty meh, but I know that a lot of those problems go away. The biggest things I need right now are Conviction and Judgment. Alright, please, mana problems, disappear? Okay, no man. I don't know how my minions all just, like, literally get farmed. And problems with defenses on your Frostblade Berserker. If you one-shot mobs, they won't be able to one-shot you. Now make sure your res is capped. Try running a defensive ore instead of all offensive ores. Running like a grace at a term is actually Giga Chad. I believe it's E for me to summon zombies. Yeah, it is. Am I missing any keys? I mean, this build requires like 12 different buttons, but no, I don't think I'm missing any keys. Why are my absolutions just not summoning anything? I feel like I'm probably overcasting Convocation, and therefore mobs are like unable to DPS. I needed mana, and all these things kind of die anyways, so. Level 30 soon, so I get equipped this. I'm still holding on to this, by the way. I need Hail to Purity and my Absolution to proc. Actually takes a while for these two to ramp. It's fine, because by then the mob will take like, or the boss will take like five times as much damage anyways. Okay, there we go, we've ramped. We arrived. What is this? A sub one hour absolution run? That's pretty chilling. I guess anything on the ground that I need. Two on raids getting nerfed. I don't know if they deserve to get nerfed. That is a lot of resist on a, sh on a pair of Glovies. I will take that though. I don't think the minions need any defensive nodes here. But maybe that's what they were struggling with earlier, right? <sighs> Like, I don't know, I feel like almost no content in Lost Ark is, like, difficult, and so when players are met with any form of adversity, I feel like it's probably a good thing. The only reason why content is even remotely considered difficult in Lost Ark, as far as early game is concerned, is because groups are just bad and players are bad, and DPS is bad. That's literally it, right? It's, like, not a game error, it's, like, a, just a player error. It's like, oh, there goes the guy that, that wiped the group again. He's he's wiping it again. A song? Let's see. Slim Hustler Night Patrolling. There you go. Alright, we're 29 finally. Jesus took too long, brothers. Oh. Uh-oh. The shield actually gave me strength to equip something. Do I get strength here? I do not. In fact, get strength to equip my shield charge. All right, we're gonna scouring it down then. Abort, abort mission. Please tell me I have enough strength now. Okay, I do. Let's not sell that actually. Let's sell the rest though. Yes, looks good. I just want to make sure the vendor made sense. Does it create faster attacks? Sick. Oh wait, now that I have uh, an extra red socket, what can I do now? 
I thought there was something I needed with this. Maybe not. Alright, check out the speed now. Holy, dude, it's literally a world of a difference. I am no longer very happy with my run. As of equipping faster attacks on my build. You get spell suppression or just more armor? That's up to you. If you get spell suppression, you gotta get as close to 100% as humanly possible. Because even like 80% spell suppression, don't do too much. It's cool. But you really gotta push for that 100%. Getting more armor is like to slap on determination, lol. Are zombies summoned? Yeah, they're summoned. Alright, cool. Alright, pathing up to the good nodes now. It's nothing but goodies from here on out, basically. Alright, let's grab this attack cast speed, and I'll go back for the transmute. Am I level 30 yet? No, I want to be level 30 though. I'm gonna farm real quick. A yeah, quick little... Quick little dried lake farm. For the boys. Whetstone. I don't think I need these anymore as much. Is that 87 life? No, it's 87 armor. Actually a really high amount of armor on some normal pair of gloves that only have like three armor on the base. Unfortunately they're just not quite good enough. Okay, I tell you what, I will go from the next waypoint, what is this? That's a red green with 65 life, fire res, and an all res implicit. It requires level 34 though. I'll put this away and I'll put this away as well. And I'll equip one of these. I'm gonna destroy that actually. Dual wielding. No 10 alteration card. Weird. Couldn't buy any others. Uh, honestly, if you're like getting cancer farmed and you're using like more than one portal per map, farm lower tier content. You're better off clearing a T1 map in like 30 seconds than you are clearing a T16 map in like 10 minutes. That's a big hatred essence actually, what are you doing here big man? I still think I need a greed essence my uh... Oh jeez, I still think I need a greed essence my thing but... You know, what do I know? Yo this guy is like killing all my mobs, my minions. Also, I'm running out of mana, quickly. Give me a mana plus. Ah! This should have been a vendor. What if it goes down this way? It could. Who knows? It does, by the way, it does. A lightning arrow run? Yeah, I plan on doing a lightning arrow run in the future to match Havoc 616. Am I dead? I thought for sure I'd die there. Alright, at this point, the onslaught, not doing a whole lot. We're gonna go back to the Act 2 place soon. We're gonna go back to Act 2, then we're gonna go to your lab and we're gonna swap over to the chest piece. And that, although the walk is gonna be really cringe, the walk will actually allow us to change over our entire link setup, as well as change the chest piece. The issue is, I need a pair of gloves with a bunch of blue sockets, and I don't really have that at the moment. It's a uh, doubt essence, I guess we'll go on like. Yo, can my minions actually focus the correct mob for once in their lives, or what? Focus the correct mob challenge. All my gems leveled up, this is why we hit 31 here. And then I actually want to go back to the Act 3 town, no, we'll go back to the Act 4 town, grab the skill point. I think it's life node here. I'm pretty sure it's a life node. Oh, it's multiple life nodes. That us. Let's go Act 2, let's go this way. Do need a better mana flask though? Ooh, we got an enduring mana flask. Sick. It solves all my mana problems once I'm 36. Yo, onslaught pro? There we go. Sick. I do have temp chains on, but. 
It's mildly cool. Is Absolution the fastest way to do minions 3x in my opinion? Probably. It's one of the only ways of leveling minions that I can think of that actually gives a onslaught this early on. Maybe later on in the leveling we can swap back to using onslaught, but I think like as far as lab is concerned, using onslaught for it doesn't make very much sense. I gotta determine what gem I gotta drop. It's probably honestly gonna be raise zombie or something. Nah, the zombie's actually kind of value here. Uh Okay, well now we make the walk up. And then we go Absolution. Oh, I need the uh, Essences first. Uh, some life, some fire res. Absolution. Added lightning. Control destruction. Summon Phantasm. And then I only get like a couple of these blue gems. Actually, no, I get all, I get three of them. Ray Zombie and I'll drop, not Skitterbots. I'll drop Arcane Surge, I guess. That's fine by me. Alright, there we go. Now I'm actually on like a four link setup. So I should do some crazy turbo dams now. We can also probably drop my uh my lightning nodes, my lightning res, lightning damage nodes. Eh. Oh, it's a small amount of player damage. If I drop those two, I actually get huge life nodes though. Then like pretty much unkillable, I think. Also be closer to spiritual aid, which is way more damage than any semblance of lightning nodes. Just FYI. Okay, proccing these is gonna be a bit painful, I think. But after that, we're good. Yo, stop focusing the portal. The portal is a free key. What are you guys doing? Literally giga clowns. Wait, did I link onslaught to something? Yeah, they're on the zombies right now. I'm always in need of more mana, aren't I? I guess so. It's just my life now. <sighs> okay, where to? Because I didn't check PU Lab for the day. Should I just guess? I'm guessing sounds like a bad idea. PU Lab, normal lab. Uh, it turns out it's top right, which is where I was going to go anyways. What's the next mechanic? Jar Joils. Grabbing that item right there to insta-kill a Jar Joil actually wouldn't be a bad idea, I think. I think I'm going the wrong way now. Like, not the wrong way, but the slow way. Eh. No, it seems fun, actually. Is having either block or spell suppression mandatory? Not mandatory, but if you don't have one or both of those things. Typically, you don't have both. Typically, if one. If you don't have one of those things, you can't really complain about dying a whole lot. It's like, people typically will come in here, complain that they're dying, and then... I'll look at their build, they won't have any sort of armor, they won't have any sort of evasion, they won't have spell suppression, they won't have block, and it's like, okay, you've just literally ignored every single defensive layer that the game hands you, and are asking why you're dying. Mr. Streamer, I, 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 I'm res capped, why am I dying? That's not how the game works anymore. Uh, it looks like both layouts are both the same, top right or top left. How about my fire res? My fire res good? Oh, no it is not. Get off this. I believe this is uh, a layout where I do need to do the timed cranks. It is. Apparently if both, if both zones are the same, then I'm going this way, I think. It's top left and it goes top right, sure. I wish Onslaught was still in Act 5. Every day, I am tempted more and more to tweet at Path of Exile and ask why the Onslaught Flask was removed from Act 5. <sighs> why, men? Stay in the mechanics and have the action speed of a drunken orangutan. 
Check out uh, Kobe Black Mamba's uh, Lightning Strike Berserker. It's not going to be exactly what you're looking for, but it'll be pretty similar. Alright, it's not your Frostblades build. You don't have to change your build. But think about it like this. It's a Berserker, right? That's going like elemental damage, so it's probably going to be similar enough to what you're playing. Now, in my opinion, Lightning Strike's just way better than Frostblades, but you can look at his defensive layers and see how he stays alive. Oh, did I actually manage to keep all three of the, uh, the Jarjo's alive? Interesting. Okay, these are all garbage somehow. All more garbage than the last. That shield's actually pretty sick, though. The one I had back there. That's just, like, a chrome item. That's it. That's all I got. And then Necromancer. And we go down towards minion damage. And now my minions actually pop off. Like, really hard. Uh, I care about suppression a lot, actually. How you doing? Alright, we just actually got all the Scrolls of Wisdoms I could ever need in our lifetime and the next. Alright, 2 Act 4. 20 mil EHP. Is it enough for tanking Shaper Slam? No. Is it enough for most of the game? Yeah, I'd say so. Therefore, you can use that to frame, like, any question you want, right? Like, is that enough for you? I don't know. Ah, don't drop a fusing- no! I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it for the sake of doing the skip. I really wanna equip the shield, actually. It's got such insane stats on it. Oh, but this shield gives me movement speed. Hold up. That's a consideration I didn't think about earlier. Alright, maybe I equipped it- no, we have such bad resist, I have to equip the shield. Ah. <sighs> Dude, my shoulder hurts so bad. Sacrificing the fusing, that's right. That's the goal here. I wish I somehow had like 12 hands and could use a uh, convocation on a different key. Like what if I just had it on like R or something? How about these boots? 20 MS? Nope, no 20 MS. See, this is where the jewelers would have came, uh, came in crazy. Uh, we don't have to go to comb right now, because we're already 32. 1k HP, it's pretty good, actually, it's pretty good. Please die. Please, one singular minion die. Ah, my shoulder! I do say that quite a bit, actually. How about these, uh, these... Items, what can I craft resist wise on them? Belts, the belt's so good because it's like 60 life cold res that if it has an open suffix, I'm crafting an alchemy craft on that. That's not something that we'd use a pathetic little uh, transmute craft on. If you're wondering why I haven't res crafted on belt. Something like the chest piece, while well, it's like pretty good, I don't have the alchemy for it, so. Oh, audio's still a little bricked, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab one of these rings and then I'll essence it when I'm in the middle of the next fight. How's the damage felt the SRS Infernal Legion? Oh, about the same, to be honest. Pretty similar, I'd say. Alright, give me the doubt. Uh, it's okay, actually. Please proc, please proc, please proc. I am at the mercy of procs at the moment. I need to hit 36 so I can look at this mana plus. That's what I need levels for right now. Alright, nice. Oh wait, this is a Desecrate, not Convocation. What am I doing? There we go. And once I got all my minions up, we're kind of chilling. Damage wise. With an out up though. Act 3 Writhing Jar. Actually true. Where am I going, dude? This would be a lot of resist. I mean, it's better than like a normal item, I suppose. Wait, is that mana? I could use mana right now. Yeah, why not? Alright, we're going up towards spiritual aid. Once we get spiritual aid, we become 10 times stronger. Uh, this is not a skip layout. It is, however, a middle layout. Not, not many people know how to read for some reason. Give me the ghosty. 36 life flask and a transmute. Mm, 
Nah, I'm good. At this moment in time, I don't have to worry too much about, uh, like, actually casting Absolution myself, I think. Just because of the fact that, uh, I can just convocate on a pack of mobs, and it'll just kind of do my job for me. Unless it just, like, decides to not hit the mobs or whatever. That'd be cool. You know, really cool when it does that. But no, I think I'm playing the build, like, not incorrectly, just slightly inefficiently. I need a ramp at the start. I had a level Templar for the axe. Homie, you didn't even say what the build was. Are you an elemental build? I'm assuming. Are you a totem build? Are you a Hierophant? A Guardian? An Aura Stacker? I mean, my recommendation, no matter what, is going to be probably, like, Magma Orb from 1 to 28, and then Armageddon Brand Cremation. But if you're going Totems, then it changes completely. Then yeah, Elemental Build is Inquisitor, it's going to be Magma Orb uh, into Armor Brand Cremation. Same as always, I build kind of farms. 65 life and fire res. Ooh. I now get to rely on procs. Though he does have adds. Alright, nice. Huge. Kill him. Kill him good. Uh, perhaps a belt upgrade? Actually, no, there's no way this is a belt upgrade. Perhaps a boot upgrade? No. Uh, what do I do with this amulet, though? Nothing, most likely. Act 3, Writhing Jar would be kind of cool. We should still easily be able to pull out a sub uh, 2 hour Act 5. I wasn't planning on enjoying this build, but here I am. 2P1G Gloves, I'll pass. Ooh! I knew I should have turned around. Or will I pass, actually? Oh, I probably shouldn't pass on this. Cold Res? Alright, those are garbage. They actually landed 4 life on them. Somehow, they ended up being worse than my Act 1 gloves. Sick. What am I 36? Because I need this Mana Flask for bosses and stuff. Is this the one where it's not that left hand turn? Not that right hand turn? No, it is that right hand turn. But then it doesn't turn left, it goes straight. And then it just continues along this way. And even though it looks like it's a dead end, it's going to be a right hand turn. It goes this way and then it just kind of continues. Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, nice. I read the layout correctly for once in my life. Yo, give me movement speed boots. Please. 20 MS. Cool. Requires a lot of strength, though. In fact, too much strength. Alright. Uh, we could remedy this. Minion damage. A spiritual aid moment soon. Alright. There's a 1 in 100 chance that this is a super rare, super unlucky layout. I mean, it goes to the right, but you pretty much always have to go to the right. That could be an upgrade on my helm, actually. Oh, I came back, so. Might as well peep it. It's awful. I keep uh, overlapping my flasks. It's actually a big problem that I'm having. It's a player skill issue, not, not build issue, by the way, but. I need to convocate to bring them out of the uh, the balls. I also kind of want to convocate to bring them out of the uh, the beam. Real shit, the beam kind of farms. Like, look at them, dude. They're all getting farmed. How is this boss, like, even supposed to be remotely minion viable? Like, look. All my minions are dead. Look. What am I supposed to do? She's going to do it again, and then all my minions are going to die again. No. My minions. Oh my, where's the counterplay? They keep focusing the random garbage in the room as well. This boss sucks. Who made this? Alright, be honest, Chad, who made this? Oh, Absolution is like 0.1 second away from leveling up. Alright, well. Yo, if I had a blue blue for Freeding Frenzy Summon Zombie, I'd be pretty jazzed, but instead I got this garbage blue green. Yo, I got a red green uh, shield though. 
Do I want to drop it? Yeah, I kind of do. It's got like some of the most insane stats I think I've seen in a while. You made this? Alright, mods, ban that guy. Shield charge, faster attacks, remove the onslaught over here that's on summon zombies for some reason. Place it with the six shield. Alright, that's 20 MS boots. I might equip them later, but I need strength and more levels for now. Alright, come along to the show. Minion life, minion damage, spirit offering. Oh, I actually am missing strength? Are you kidding me? When will I not be missing strength? Alright, we're just lightning res craft with an alchemy on the belt, and then we're hard chilling. Keep the res. Look at that. Res cap. Okay, to go back. What am I dropping here? Probably gloves. Yeah, these gloves are dual res, but... Uh, they don't really work right now. Where am I getting strength from? I can't get it from, like, belts. I'd have to, like, literally craft on a piece of gear or get a ring that has strength. Is that even possible? I don't know. Also, I did not proc absolution outside of the boss fight, so this is going to take me a sec. Alright, there we go. Once we get ramping, it's fine, but until that point... Yo, where's my strength up, dude? Am I just weak? I mean, it's bad enough that I'm weak IRL. Not gonna be missing strength in game as well. Alright, fight Dodri and I'm gonna curse her. That's how confident I am in my own play. And by my own play, I mean go get him, minions. Go get him, lads. You got this. If you curse Dodri, she'll eat the curse. And apply unholy might on herself. I wonder if attacking this dude early will uh will proc my absolution. Uh once I'm 36, I'm doing pretty good, I'd say though. Let's drop the flame wall over here. Or put it in offhand or something. No, because even though he has a shield. Oh yeah, it does work to the shield. Gib ads, please. Gib ads. Please move off the seal. Summon some more zombies. I'm Oom. I'm actually Cancer Oom right here. Give me ads. Thank you. I'm probably gonna have to go back, aren't I? Yeah, I definitely am, I'd say. Uh, but that means I anti-ramp. Uh, if my minions survive long enough, it might be okay. It might be acceptable, I'd say. Because, I mean... Alright, all my absolution fell off. Well, I mean, we did proc it already, so that's kind of cool. That's got to stand for something, right? Alright, maybe I can do this. Yeah, we can easily do this. That's more than enough uh, mana now. I gotta resummon any zombies. I gotta summon a couple. Now I gotta summon more than a couple zombies back, but it's fine. I got the mana for this now. Yeah, it should be the easiest sub to our Katava in my life, I think. Should be. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Then log out. There we go. Dropped a heavy belt. Yeah, but my belt has like 70 life and like the craziest amount of resist you've ever seen before. Alright, this isn't really uh, an item I can just straight up replace that easily. Okay, once I get spiritual aid, my build becomes 10 times better. What minion do I grab here? I think it's Carrion Jolum. Somebody said Spell Echo is pretty good in this skill. Is that true? Where's Carrion Jolum? Carrion Jolum, nice. Fastest Act 5. My Fastest Act 5 is actually patched like many times over. I don't think I've done an Act 5 run in like 6 months and the game has been changed so much since then. I used to be like a 107 or like a 106 or something. I think it was 106.
But then you look at that run and you're like, wow, a 106 and you're doing Katava at 125 or 124. But you gotta remember this is a run where I'm actually higher on XP than that run. I've done all the skill points so far up until this point. I've done lab. Whereas the 106, I ignore all that for the sake of being the campaign. Not even, like, if I were to fight one single monster in X6, I'd die, pretty much. Because it's not what I do on a League Star. Whereas this, this is League Star viable. Except for maybe the unethical amulet, but that's about it. But we're gonna talk about that. Yo, what if I used a defensive aura? I might actually transition over to like using Determ. Transition over to using Determ and get like a mana reservation, drop like Skitterbots or something. That sounds pretty good. I'd get mana reservation for it first though. Alright, we get a nice little minion damage node here. Yeah, Righteous Army. What resist do I need? If I drop this. Holy shit. Alright, well, it has no resist on it, so. Lucky for me. Oh, I just dropped all my stacks, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Alright, what do I need resist wise? I need, like, lightning res and just anything else, really. So I'll go, like, lightning and fire. And then hope and pray that it has some sort of all stats on it. Please have, like, strength or something. Cast speed. Ooh. Yo, what's good, Rangers? We gaming or what? Yo, Ranger, I hit, uh, I hit Masters on uh, on main instead of my alt. I ran into Graciel. And uh, he had a very unlucky team with him. Even though it was the lane I was supposed to gank, I was like, Nope, I'm not ganking that guy. <laughs> and then I didn't. And then we won the game. <laughs> Good job, son. Yeah, now I'm trying to find any excuse I can to stop playing the game again. Even though, on the countering, you know, when you get like that cusp of... Of, of, uh, like, improving and being, like, high-rated. And then it's like, wow, this game's dog shit, I don't play. <laughs> That's where I'm at. And then, in a few months, League will sound really good to me. I can stop when I get to Grandmaster? Maybe. The region's so bad. The issues I'm really bad now. Push through the barrier. Alright, maybe when my shoulder recovers. I'm watching some Vigar V2 coaching. That guy is actually Brainiac times two squared. You're still playing a lightning strike, right? Yeah, NA is like dead. I don't run into like... Like anybody that's smurfing is no longer a pro player, but pro players didn't smurf too much. I think Kylo is like really dead though. But it's not like, you know, I have connections with TF Blade or anything, it's just... Just NA solo queue is overran by streamers that didn't get invited to... Uh... Champions queue, and then... A million Chinese players. And those two are at war with one another. When do I get Skitterbots? You get it in Act 2, it's a level 16 aura. It's the reason why we do, um, Chambers of Sin 2 first. Arams with the boys. I take things too con too seriously, too competitively. Like, I can't flame the boys. Because they're just, like, silver too. Like, what am I going to yell at them at? There's no reason to yell at someone like that. Especially in a casual setting. But, like, I want to win. I need strength. My gem is, like, straight up not gaining levels as of this moment in time. I need, like, a 10 strength node, like, ASAP. You know what? I think I just craft strength on gear. I wasn't anticipating on this issue. Using omniscience, but you're overcapped. You want to know some hidden tech? I guess it's not hidden because it's been talked about before, but you want a good ring? Look up a ring that has a T1 like fractured. So like it always stays. You know when you see an item piece and it's got like a little, it's one of the mods is in orange and that mod always stays there. That's what you want. You want that, but a T1 attribute. So like, let's say like, I don't know, 55 strength or something is like orange and it's fractured. So no matter what you roll, it'll always be on the item. Then you spam a bunch of uh, essences with T0 of another type of uh, attribute. So like, you know, if the item has 55 strength on it, you slam it with like 60 plus dexterity or something. And then you hope for just something crazy, like another, another T1 attribute. Or T2 attribute, whatever you're going for. 
then you catalyst it with uh, attributes, and then boom, you've got a you've got a three times like T one or T zero uh, attribute aim or uh, piece of jewelry, like ring. Usually people do it on uh, oh, what's it called? Pe people usually do it on amethyst strings because the builds struggle with chaos res, you know. But that makes it cost a lot more. You can either do it on amethyst strings or coral rings. That's both the fun. Been playing Aram a fair bit. I don't know. Aram doesn't hit the same since people actually end. I remember the era of end if gay, and then the game would go on for another 20 minutes. Alright, this is spiritual aid. Alright, we're popping now. Alright, we actually just like doubled our damage, by the way. As far as player damage is concerned. What's my XP right now? 38? We're actually pretty good. I think I might have to send one more Chamber of Innocence here. Yeah, you literally can't end. It works in rank 2, but less effect all right this is a skill point skill point towards strength and I'm about to level up so I guess it's fine dude my absolution is nowhere near the level I oh my 70 life res open suffix open suffix baby there it is uh, from this I'm gonna grab a jade flask I think just avoid being stunned you'll bring back a uh, silver flask please uh, I can grab the 10 strength node right here. Where's another piece of strength that I could grab? They're all too far away, I think. How about this node? Nah, it doesn't give enough. I mean, I guess 10 strength for right now would be fine. That's why I'm about to level up anyways. My zombies are dead? Yeah, I know. They don't really provide very much. They're just kind of here for carrion jolems, which I'm also not using at the moment. What can I replace carrion jolems with? Uh, no, actually. I can just equip it over here. Alright, so Yeah, zombies are just kind of there to, to do something, really. Alright, once I get my absolution rolling, I'm pretty sure I just press convocation, and then I just leave them to their own devices, and should be fine. Yeah, it should be good. And I cast absolution every once in a while, and see, they're good to go. I should level up off that. I did not, by the way. Okay. Sanctity. Now I can level up my gems. Holy. Not enough strength to equip this, but that's fine. If I could chrome that to get a blue socket, that'd be sick. It could be 20 MS with some resist on it as well. Yeah, I should have crafted uh, probably strength somewhere, but it's fine. We get a minion attack and cast speed here, right? Yeah, that's what this node over here is. Bunch of minion damage and stuff like that. A decent greed essence. Like, I don't know what to use this on, but... Something. Alright, let's summon some zombies, though. Yep, zombies. Once I get two more passive points, by the way, we are, like, fully online. The build will be scaled. Oh, a nice little shrine for my innocence fight. It's a skeletal shrine. I actually don't know how good that is on a minion build. Cosmetic zombies? They kind of are, actually. Unironically. Yes. Let's go ahead and grab these. Okay, really good XP and a 140 Katava. That's pretty sick, I'd say. Peep the damage as well. Rise. But what if you are gay? And you still can't end exactly, it doesn't matter. Okay, unbound ailments can't really go anywhere. Oh, some of the carrion jolems, dude. What am I doing? Where are they at? Summon some more zombies, because we're missing a couple. Pop off with the uh, the curse. Can I summon any more carrion jolems? Nope, just the one. Alright. Single target? Nice. Minion single target is here. Wait, is that flame ball on my offhand? Yeah, it is. There's literally nothing I can drop here, by the way. Everything is a vital part of my build. Oh, my stuff is falling off. Please don't beam. Yo, okay, whatever. I basically want to keep this beam away from all my minions, by the way. Okay, somebody said Spell Echo goes pretty well on this. What if I use Spell Echo instead of Summon Rated Lightning? 
I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of weird. Also, dealing less damage? Don't think so. Alright, let's pull up the POB though. Path of building. Because at this point, I don't know. Like, I know where to go on tree, I just don't know what to do with other stuff. Ziz, Absolution, Yoink. Thanks to the build guide, homie. Let's see, Absolution. Uh, control Destruction, Fizz to Lightning. Oh, I don't have that actually. Fizz to Lightning would probably be better than uh, Added Lightning. Let me go to Pure this in the middle of the run. Tai Tai Killer, Import Character, uh, Absolution, um, Physical to Lightning, Match Character Level, probably like level like 5 gem, right? Yeah, Added Lightning adds like 11% on the minions and 30% to me. Ah, I can take this. Ooh, wait, isn't that the minion? Wait a second, I can't use that, dude. That's physical to, to elemental, dude. That's unethical. I don't want to use this. That's actually disgusting, I think. Guys, I can't use that, right? Like, the conversion. Whoa, another good shield. Whoa, that shield's crazy. This is a vendor right here. Yeah, I, these gloves are like two nuts. I don't want to use them. I'm already using a cider breath. I'm just gonna keep this. Now, obviously, if this were a real run, I'd use these, right? Because it's like 100% of fizz uh, to, to different elements, right? Of conversion, and then I could do like 100% of fizz to lightning. Hang on, let me just... Let me just control and control V this into POB. Literally, just as a blue blue, it's already like... Like 6% more DPS. There'd be one. No, I'm good at this point. Actually, I could woe since a one now that I think about it. Yeah, it's an option. Dude, my inventory needs some work right now. I also need some more blue sockets. Yeah, it seems like summon phantasms better, much better for the the phantas or the the little little guys. Also, I have a lot more minions than just uh, absolution, by the way. Uh, I gotta drop something, don't I? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'm not gonna use these gloves, even though they're unethical. Give me a blue jewel. Wait a second, damage over time, text. Yeah, nah. Let's put these away, put this away. Pretty much put any type of currency I don't need away. Can I replace this ring? I still need like five strength or something, whatever it is. That's pretty cringe. And I want to hold on to this, I think. I actually did nothing with my inventory. I might as well have done nothing. Okay. Uh, I should go grab Fizz to Lightning from uh, Library. Because I did Library, it's kind of a time save. Because think about it like this, I no longer have to, uh, Vol Double Strike. I no longer have to do the X6 quest. Also, I wanted a 38 gem that I don't have access to, which is probably pretty reasonable. Wait, isn't Fizz to Lightning 38? I think it was 18 before. Fizz to Light, no, it's an 18 gem. I think Witch actually gets it. I'm too scared and too nervous to check the, uh, the Act 2 town, though. Plus one zombies. Okay. Almost at the super mega node. Yeah, 140 uh, Katav is like a decent time, but with library on a minion build is a very, very good time. I think Balar's run was like around two hour and two minute Katava. All I remember is I looked at it and went, yeah, I could go a bit faster than that. Unique items. Okay. But what if I end up cheating with my unique items? Hypothetically speaking, of course. So. Well, I guess if I wanted to cheat, I'd just use those old uh, gloves, the triads. Oh, 41, and then we get the mega attack speed node soon. Is shield charge even on attack without moving? Oh my. Chat, nobody told me. Nobody told me shield charge wasn't on fast attack without moving. No wonder the skill sucked. 
All right, let's go and use a Torment Essence, which is a garbage essence on a ring, and hope for a bunch of like life and res or something. We didn't land that. Absolution leveled up though. Sick. Jeweler's Orb. Should probably grab that. I need a few blue sockets here. I'm kind of starved. Unset ring won't change anything. Boom. Not that happened, Chip. Which doesn't get fizz to lightning? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, let's go ahead and end the encounter now. And please don't give me enough items that I can't uh, pick anything up. Uh, that's Storm Chargers. I'm not going to do anything with uh, with Fair Gates Tricorn, obviously. This is like fizz converted to lightning. It's also 20 MS with a... Oh, almost max roll. Uh, lightning res roll. Alright. Uh, in that case, because it's more MS... I can drop these boots, jeweler these boots, and then chrome them. Oh, we don't have chromes. Okay, let's go back to library, grab Fizz to Lightning, drop the added lightning. Where's Fizz to Lightning at? It looks distinct. Yeah, there we go. Drop the added lightning. Go back to Act 5 town, because I gotta go through the waypoint, or the portal, I mean. Drop this off, grab my chromes. Do I have any jewelers in here? I do have some jewelers. Come on. Blue socket, please. Just a singular blue socket. Alright, nice. Alright, there we go. Grab this. I'll put this amulet. I don't think it's useful. Although... Hmm. No, I don't think so. The name of this song, this song is called Crystal Waters, Gypsy Woman. There you go. Hope that helps Critroin. I don't think that helps my minions though. All right, my damage should go crazy right now, I think. What's the time gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be like a 145 Catalvo. Oh, well, that's still perfectly fine. It's still very reasonable, I'd say. How does the Fist of Lightning interact with the minions? I don't think that affects my minions conversion at all. Pretty sure all my damage is like lightning now though. Yeah, we do way more damage than we did before. I'm pretty sure. I got enough zombies, right? Oh, I don't have my carry and drill them anymore. There we go. Hi, sweetie. Okay, damage alert. How's my resist looking? Everything but fire res is good to go. Also, redemption is here. What about these nodes? Uh, I don't think I need anything more. I could do penetrates, I guess. Since they're doing so much elemental damage. Yeah, let's, let's do penetrate. I guess that's fine for my next node. Can I seriously not take this off? I cannot. Oh, also, I think I just summoned, unsummoned all my absolutions. Yeah, I did. Unlock. Wow, that's four strengths really holding me over, huh? <laughs> Get off me. Luckily, I have some pretty broken uh, mana flows here. Okay, my minions should just be able to handle this now. Yeah, they are. Nice. Okay, where am I going for, like, Cruel Lab, for example? Uh, minion AoE makes a lot of sense, I'd say. Yeah, why not? Minion AoE. And then after that, I can go for, like, Great Pact for, uh, minions have a chance to deal double damage. Also, minion damage and accuracy is cool. And then I can grab some life nodes. Yo, HP nodes for once? Cool. Song request. Sorry, Chip Idiot. I will not be taking your song. 144. Not bad on a minion build, lads. Not bad at all. Alright. Does everything here make sense as far as links are concerned? Yeah, I'd say so. What if I get, like, summon zombies with, like, a uh, feeding frenzy or something? I think that might be the biggest docker rave I could possibly get. Probably be the biggest power up I could get. Reasonably. Yo, it's who we would have dude. Peep the minion run. You log into some minions? I mean, you like playing the most awful builds known to mankind, so. 
No, it's actually not that bad. Do I need an ambulance or a belt? I do not. Okay. Where are you going, dude? Why are you dock leaving? I didn't even say World of Warcraft patch 9.2 came out last Tuesday, released by Bl Activision Blizzard, acquired by Microsoft in 2022. Most likely merging in 2023. Patch 9.2 will likely be one of the last few patches of World of Warcraft Shadowlands, of course. World of Warcraft Shadowlands launching in... Actually, I don't remember when it launched. It's better that I don't think about it. Holy... Yep, that's right. I said it. Yo, where the minions at? Oh wait, I need this eye. I'm too tempted to like leave everything behind once I kill stuff. How about this jade amulet though? What do I do with this? I think I transmute one or both of these. Increased amount recovered, sure. Oh, it's immunity to chill though. I love immunity to chill. And then I replace the other one, I guess. All right, buy immunity to chill. I gotta keep this for a bit. Alright, we gotta proc some minions first. Let them good. I actually keep using my uh. Look at the single target though. Not but it's this damage ethical or what? Okay, I moved away too early. Turns out that minions only have like uh. Five feet before they forget where they are. I have to stand right on- I literally have to baby them, dude. I literally have to baby the minions. Yo, all my minions are dying, dude. What is this? Where's my carrying Joel in that? Why not? Damage to spells? Dual resist. Whoa. That has a lot of resist. Also, spell damage as well. It's a pretty sick wand, I gotta be honest. In terms of resist, it doesn't get much better than that. There's a martyr here. I'm out. Yeah, I know I can control click the mastery. I'm just not very used to putting in masters at the moment, and so therefore I don't like control clicking them. Because it's so easy to like accidentally move my mouse by 0.1 of an inch. Yo, if I could get Onslaught on this build, it'd be a banger. Let's drop this. Oh, I have a Binding Orb. Oh, let's use a Binding Orb on a random pair of gloves. Because these gloves are really awful. I could also use it on Helm. Because health Helm is equally as awful. But if I could cap my Fire Res, that'd be cool. We're pretty much over the hump of needing Fire Res, though. In X6. So I'm doing just fine. Yeah, we got a Binding Orb. I gotta find some more blue sockets, I think. If I found like a strength int base, I'd probably use that. Gwenin, no. Oh, my shoulder hurts so bad. But it might be a tuber, so I gotta continue. I need HP, actually. I need defenses is what I need. At this moment in time, I think I might actually path for some HP nodes for once. Because I feel fine on damage. I think I'll grab like the three HP nodes here, and then I'll grab like uh, the minion nodes after I'm dying to bleed. I keep forgetting that Convocate regens my minions, but not me. Mm. Ugh. I'm in pain. Help. Yeah, Martyr's the biggest dog cleave of this game, basically. There we go. Shoulder injury? Yeah, shoulder injury from uh, your mom last night. <laughs> Sorry. Had to do it. You know how it goes. Whetstones. Uh, I actually don't need scrolls, though. I'm gonna drop that. She do be a little heavy. Same here. 
go Vol side area. Hmm. Vol side area. We find Vol summon skeletons and we win the game. Thoughts? Seems like a good idea to me. I wish, Chip. I wish. Let's go strength, actually. Since I need strength to level up my gem, I'm pathing more towards the minion damage than I am the life. Forget it, dude. I don't need life if I don't get hit. We got a whole wall of minions here. Who's gonna hit me? Oh, I actually get a helm from this quest. Maybe while I'm at it, I look at, like, the, the glove bases and I peep some cool gloves. You can get a soldier injury from someone who's, uh, not large. I mean, I should know after all with your mom. <laughs> Literally removed, dude. Oh, I should be spamming Absolution. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, she went up in the air anyways. You're gonna hit me? I wish. I need to feel something right now. I think it's just a vendor. Wait, this has 40 strength on it. I didn't realize that. Well, 56 strength, technically. The issue is uh, it relies on me getting kills, and that's just not happening. Alright, get em, minions. Get them. Pretty unethical damage, I gotta say. Let's grab the spell damage from down here. Garbage, right? Yeah, garbage for the most part. I could actually log. I actually think I'm gonna... Since my damage is so high here... I think I'm gonna path in all the skill points at once. Maybe I skip Aberrath though. This guy's kind of scary. Considering the fact that I'm not fire res capped, this guy's really scary. Also, we're pretty weak at the moment, but yeah, I can path in the uh, the skill points. Could wait till like seven because I don't get like crazy good nodes for right now, but I think it's fine. Uh, I guess I could find, like, an insane pair of, uh, well, any piece of gear, really. It's like, that's a really good chest piece, but I can't do it because of socket pressure, so I wait till I get the helm. I don't think this class gets inched, um, strength bases, though, from quests. I'm pretty sure I get, like, int, int dex, and then, uh, maybe I get int strength. Not sure. I think I placed a portal down earlier. Alright, well. So I have to do the most insane MS boots of my life to, for it to be even usable. Let's go cap fire res before I do other stuff then. As much as I don't like doing this. How's the ring? 45 life. Actually not awful. Gib skill point, and then I did get strengthened. Huh, 55 life? That's not bad. I don't have an alchemy though, I don't think. Let's grab a pair of boots here. Not a pair of boots, a pair of gloves. Any five links of the vendor? That'd be crazy. Uh, should I just do int base, honestly? Yeah, I'm feeling an int base. And then 24 life, some cold res, and open suffix. Sure, I'll take it. Because I can move this over. Put on feeding frenzy. I could even do, like, minion life or something. I could do, like, minion life and then, like, carry and jolem. Or something like that. I think that's good. Yeah, that works. Carry and jolem. Minion life. I could do minion damage as well. Oh, they have less life now. Alright, never mind, we're not doing that. I just need these mobs to survive, that's all. Let's leave minion damage on the offhand. And let's go ahead and equip this instead. Purity. And I think I needed a blue gem, so I could do, like, unbound ailments here. Yeah, I did. Sick. I could use arcane surge, but it's not gonna be that big. And then, do I need the strength? I don't need the strength anymore, so we get rid of that. Sick. We're actually very powerful now. We are a very powerful wizard as of this moment in time. Oh, I don't think I actually went back and crafted res. You know what? It's fine. Oh, I don't need to. I'm basically almost res cap. I'm 70% res. Alright, so convocation. And now I should be getting almost permanent feeding frenzy for more minion damage as well. Yeah, I can feel that difference actually. The minions are kind of popping. Doesn't Feeding Frenzy also make them aggressive? Wait, that's literally the biggest upgrade I could have ever found in my life, I think. But where is this guy? Wait, what? Where's this jabroni at? He's gotta be up here. Yeah, he is. Alright, it's going to end Delirium as I walk up to him. Yo, wait a second. I can't grab all this. I might die for it. I'm gonna grab the ring and the boots and the glove. Uh, not, not, the, not the gloves. Wait, what's the medium? 
area damage. Imagine if it was minions. Nah, if it was minions, I still wouldn't use it, I don't think. Is that 75 life? No, 75 accuracy, no mind. Alright, let's go to proc our, our thing here. First of all, alterations. And yeah, just peep the absolute amount of damage that we're doing. I think I might hold on to the, uh, oh, should probably have used Absolution, but I think I might hold on to the chest piece and render everything else. You don't really sell anything, do you? No, you don't. Okay, let's go get the other skill point first before we turn this in. Uh, I said I wanted to keep the chest piece. Okay, this is fine. That was looking a little bit better. Keep this homie right here Oh, I'm peeping. They call me peeping type. Actually, no, they don't call me that. 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 Never mind. What's that video? I'm not clicking that. Is it Quinn69? Is it going? <laughs> Elder Ring is bad coding. Something like that. I don't know. Is it related to me? The guy I was with was pulling my arms too hard. Could be. Could be. Well said, Chip. Well said. Yo, look at this damage, dude. Look at this damage. We're gonna pop off right here. Watch this. Okay, that was actually some damage. Oh, I should have logged out right there. I should have logged. Oh, well. How's the helm? Uh, it's actually really good. It's actually really, really good. Can I use the colors? I'd have to recolor to like two blue, one red. No, nah, I don't have to. I can just do this instead. Because it's got 85 life on it instead of 55, and it's open suffix still. Do I have an alchemy for that? I sure do. Let's go craft um, fire res real quick. And then I don't think I need to like replace a single gear piece for the rest of the run. Okay, sick. Okay, we should start speeding up here as well. The less I have to gear, the stronger my character gets. Unless it's a... Uh, no, it's not a good essence. Holy, the build feels so much better now that I have Feeding Frenzy on. I'm glad I did that. Also, two scope points here. This is like minion damage, I'm pretty sure. And also accuracy. And then after third, it's the chance to deal double damage. And then after that, I get minion AoE. And then I think I get AoE on myself, which I don't know if that actually affects my minions. I'm pretty sure it does. Chat, does AoE on myself affect my minions? Because if so, that's pretty value. Nah, actually, getting the minion AoE will be good enough. It's like a crazy amount of minion AoE. I think it's like 45% or more. Something like that. Perfectly fine for clear. And then after that, we start pathing into life. It took you one minute to decipher what that was. Oh. Maybe you're too zoomed in or not zoomed in enough or something? I don't know. Or... You're just unaware. But Chip Idiot posted an acai art of Fujiwara Chika. Not that I would know who that character is, of course. No clue. That'd be kind of cringe if I did know, though. Level 45, Grave Pact, are huge. Let's go Team Weebs, that's right. Ooh. Oh, let's go grab uh, this Delirium Mirror, peep, the rewards, Artisans, I actually would normally do this, just for Scrolls of Wisdoms here. Alright, it's 20 scrolls, that's pretty badass. Alright, I'm gonna stop using left click so liberally, we're gonna own the libs by uh, holding on to Convocation until I actually need it. Oh, I'm actually outrunning the fog right now, even though I did that, uh... That chest back there. You know what? I'm actually 100% gonna outrun the fog here. Let's grab this ring. Transmute. No, I'll be good, homie. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I think at this point, we just kind of uh, outpace the world. I think I'm gonna finish Act 6 with all skill points and stuff. Pretty close to where Belora's finishing Act 5. That's it. I did all of that delirium. So I could get an Engineer's Orb. Doc, leave, dude. I guess the cool thing about this uh, this helm is that it would allow me to equip this chest piece. Oh well, it's too late now. I'll just keep this one, it's like fine. 
Do I have all my minions up? Oh no, I'm missing uh, zombies. They kind of cost a lot, actually. Real talk. Yeah, putting on this four link was probably the best decision I've ever made it before in my life. I almost wonder if putting it on earlier in the run would be smarter. Um, other things I could grab would be like, I guess a summon specter setup would make sense, right? Summon specters, and then I summon the uh, like the frenzy charge boys. But then I need the plus one thing up here, death attunement. It's kind of far away. There's like some minion stuff over here, isn't there? What's this minion stuff? Isn't it Golan Commander? Oh, minions have a chance to gain Onslaught. Maybe I should grab that. Nah, it feels pretty far away, actually. I mean, I know what I need for get for Cruel Lab. Maybe I should just focus on, uh, on like, Merc later. I mean, I will eventually get plus one Spectre. I'm just thinking if I grab a Spectre gem right now, and then I level it up, and then once I'm in the middle of the X7 zone, if I already have the node by that moment in time. Also, since my damage is fine, we grab uh, HP now. Survivability is cool. Let's grab HP over here. And then I'm gonna go probably 10% life. 10% life, less recovery rate. I wish you could do the skip still. Then I will grab the AoE. Oh, I could also grab Heart and Soul. Heart and Soul is pretty sick. Pretty sick node. I think at this point I should probably drop the purity. I should run like Wrath. Although I, if I drop Skitter Bots, because I have a form of shock, I could be running. Hang on, determination. Oh, that requires mana reservation nodes. That'll come with time. We'll change the uh, the auras when necessary. I don't think it's down there. I'm pretty sure it's up this way. I like how I went back to immediately just like hovering and holding down my left click the whole time. So then convocation's not. Oh god, it actually was down there, I think. Unless it's straight up here. I could have just completely bleh the layout. Yeah, I did. It was actually down there the whole time. Everyone was like, no, it's not down there. Wait, it could be over here. Oh my god, where am I going? No, it can't be over here. Help! I'm lost! <sighs> I'm checking up here. I'm checking up here and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Why would I check up here? What is the purpose? Oh, my I'm so lost, dude. I'm actually lost in the solace right now. It's doomed. It's actually doomed. I didn't go down enough. Wow. This is the first time I think I've misread Brian Kring Grief in like a year. Alright, yeah, it's 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 doomed, lads. It's doomed. It actually was down here by the way. Wait, what? It's not a left side layout. You're joking me. You're Josh Chip, where am I going? What? Am I looking at there's no way it's like right in that little corner. There's absolutely no way. Okay, we're full clearing the zone because at this point, I'm confused. Just go to Brian King. Okay. Well said. Wait, what if it's like over that way? Okay, it's not going to be at the start of the zone though. Where am I going? Okay, it's not going to be here. It's not going to be here. Oh my god. This requires a run reset on its own, I think. It's over. Where am I going? I am lost because this... Didn't allow me to go any further down, right? So this didn't allow me to go for any further down. So it's gotta be over here. I swear, if it's like right here, I'm gonna be so mad. No, it's not here. Where is this guy? What? Where is he, dude? Huh? He can't be here. This is too close. Wait, haven't I literally full clear? There's no way. This would have already told me if it was the exit or not. Yeah, there's no way. It has to be up here then. Okay. He's a crab, so- Oh! I was 0.2 seconds off from finding him. Jesus! That's so unlucky, man. I literally discovered right here, and it looked like it was part of the wall. Nah. Nah, man. That's actually a reset, dude. Unironically a reset. Holy cringe, dude. And I call myself a speedrunner. Everybody's probably staring at it. You know what? If you're staring at it and you're commenting right now, instead what you could do is subscribe. I've noticed only a percentage of you have subscribed. I don't know what that percentage is, but I know it's a percent. Oh, I do in fact need more mana. No thanks? Oh, okay. 
mods just ban everybody in chat oh no no no, no. not not subscribe no no, no 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 not subscribe with twitch prime i mean like subscribe on my youtube channel no 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 wait no i didn't that's not this type of subscribe i meant i meant like for the youtube video like no guys i'm not pandering to to get subs all right this isn't a quinn channel no 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 no, no. i meant subscribe to youtube yeah x wish mark youtube subscribe over there if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. Oh, no, no, stop. No, Eclipse. Thanks for the 10 months, though. Eclipse of Soul. Guys, why do we start a hype train? Thanks. Meme smile. Guys, I don't even know if it's a tuber, in all honesty, because. Ooh, 20 minutes. Because I have audio muted in the VOD. Time and tide, wait for no man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is audio muted in the VOD fine? Because I have my voice. I have I have audio muted in the VOD, but I have my voice. Because I'm playing like music and stuff. Last video two months ago. No, it wasn't. It was like Maybe it was two months ago. <laughs> maybe it was. Sometimes I come up with some bangers, alright? Oh, I guess it would have been the Awakener run, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Now you guys are lying. Everybody in chat's lying. I'm the only one that's correct. Oh, my shoulder. My chair looks it. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's my pillow that I'm resting on back here. The sub 9 run, I think that was uh, 9.30 with commentary. The sub 9 was with very little commentary. Yeah, it's not even sub 9 either. I waited until um, to see if there was any Atlas changes. Took the 3 months, see Owen. No, this is not YouTube. This is a pure commentary slash voice run. I hope people aren't upset by um by the fact that there's no audio in the VOD. I think in the future, as soon as I start practicing for an actual YouTube run, because I didn't expect to get a decent run this early on, I think in the future, I will likely just use in-game audio instead of music. Because obviously I can't keep music in the VOD if I'm just going to listen to music the whole time. And then even like classical is dangerous because like, you know, what if Antonio Vivaldi's great, 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 great grandson has the copyright claims to one of his songs, you know? It's not how copyright works, but trust me, dude. One singular like classical remix fits in there. Boom. My whole video is taken down. That's a chrome item. It'd only be upsetting if I got Rick rolled. No, I think it'd be more upsetting if I lost money. Mozart's gonna wake up from the grave to DMCA me personally. That's right. The issue that I have with Pee OST is the same problem with like some other games where the music ramps like it builds. It'll play like one or two instruments and then it'll slowly build on itself. When you speedrun the game, you literally run through everything so quickly that you don't get to the point where the music just ramps. So all I'm listening to for the most part is like one or two, uh, one or two different like little things. Yo, I grabbed the, the map device, right? Yeah, I did. Just making sure. I'm actually just going to end the delirium here. Large cluster, fire damage. DMCA speedrun. All I gotta do is start singing. What's up, Santoryu? Eight years ago, I played support. Sometimes I play support even now. It's kind of fun to send a Yumi game, you know? It takes a real man to play Yumi. That's a 97 life shield. Like, I'm a Soraka enjoyer, alright? Sometimes I just want to play Soraka. But every time I like get autofilled and I pick Soraka because I don't know what I'm doing, but I can play a mean Soraka, my ADC and like Diamond 1 will be like, You just trolled the entire lane. Now we don't get to play the game. And he's like AFK under tower the whole time, despite me like being able to heal him to full. I kinda wanna roll this flask. Yo, damage. Uh, what if I got like a better mod than that? 
Ooh, gain charges when hit by an enemy. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Oh, get off me. Ooh, I'm dying. I need more absolutions, I think. Soraka mid lane. Now, I like playing either Vyga or Vex in mid lane. Because they're broken, you know? Stop saying Evelyn top, dude. I'm not playing that. Halal. What's the story behind DRKK Cecil? That used to be my name from World of Warcraft. DRKK Cecil was to stand for Dark Knight Cecil, as in Final Fantasy IV. I've tried name changing over to Titai Killer many a times to no avail. Uh, I am missing the trial. The trial is going to be, I believe, down. Uh, actually, I'll just run down to it. Why not? I actually feel like the trial is close to the exit anyways in this particular layout. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. 48. I don't think 48 provides me with anything, but I do get more HP and mana regen nodes or whatever the heck it's called. Final Fantasy 4 Enjoyer. Of course, it's probably one of the best Final Fantasies. I think I played Final Fantasy 4 a stupid amount of times. Like, I think I've beaten it like six times. Like three or four times on 3DS and then a couple times on PC. Yeah, give me a YouTube sub. I don't need your Twitch money. It's just something something YouTube analytics, something something good for the video, something something like the video. I don't like pandering, but I'm fine with doing it in the middle of the video. I think what would be cool for my YouTube is when I eventually move out, if I do move to Belfast, what I could do is during these super long runs, do like a Raid Shadow Legends ad in the middle of like Act 1 or Act 2 or something. As long as I'm not like screaming at you guys, like if I just maintain the same volume of my voice. <clears throat> you know, make some YouTube chatter, because my YouTube analytics are actually really sick. Really surprising me how many people watch YouTube, so thank you for watching. Need a PoE, what do I have that lets me dash so much? It's called Shield Charge. You link Shield Charge to faster attacks. That's how I'm perma running around. And then I just have high movement speed from other sources. If Onslaught Flask was available in Act 5, let's just say this run would be looking a little, a little fast. But no, this run's pretty acceptable, I'd say. And 2 hour X6 is pretty alright. We ignore the Brian King incident. Blow out the audio. A lot of people fall asleep to my videos though, I can't just do that to them. I fall asleep to YouTube videos. I like watching a lot of StarCraft 1 when I fall asleep. A lot of Brood War, competitive Brood War. Because I don't need to see the screen to hear. Yep, we see uh, Portos pushing up without Range Dragoon finishing. Should be a bunker from the Terran. Yep, there it is. <laughs> you know, like I don't need to look at the screen to know what's going on. The ads from the autoplay will kick people out anyways. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but I told YouTube, like, just play, like, skippable, like, short ads on my videos. And it's been nothing but, like, 300 trillion ads on my videos since then. Sorry, loads. I follow PUE or League Esports. I think League of Legends Esports is the most boring garbage since, like, Season 3. The only thing I follow are, like, Seeing how Malice is doing in an academy, and that's about it, because he's my friend. He's learning. I'm about the Omni Shot Tornado Shot build. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't think League of Legends Esports has been entertaining since like 2015. The moment I realized that League of Legends Esports is cringe and boring is like, I think it was like Season 5 Worlds or something like that, Season 6 Worlds. I was like really addicted to League at this moment in time. And so I got super excited for the players, and my dad was like, I don't see what's so exciting about it, because he played League back then. And so I, I like, literally, like, wrote down a bunch of players to, like, to, like, watch, because they're so cool, and, like, you know, the different team rivalries, and, and what makes League of Legends Esports so great. And he was like, oh, that seems pretty cool. And I remember I sat down on the couch, watched game one, the opening game of Worlds, 
I didn't even make it to the 10 minute mark. I fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> I literally fell asleep on the couch before, like, the game even reached the mid game. Alright, let's see. Vol City. This should be an easy layout to read, I think. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It's a really long way to get into the middle. Therefore, my prediction is it's in the middle. It's not a prediction, by the way. It's 100% fact that it's going to be right over here. Because it took me so long to get here. There's a lot of resistance going on to this. How many portal schools I got? Not too many. Yeah, unless it's like the closest Dota game you've ever seen see before in your life, you probably like don't really care about the Dota game so much. <laughs> Would be my guess at least. Yo, I can get boots, but I don't th think I want them. My map is zoomed in so much. Oh! Oops. You're right, actually. My map is zoomed in too much. Oh, wow. There we go. I was like, dude, my map feels a little too zoomed in. I noticed it in Brian King. There we go. Much better. <laughs> I didn't realize it was fully zoomed in. It's because um, if I don't have num Numlock on, the key I use to start my W split is the addition key, or the plus sign. And the plus sign on PoE actually zooms in your uh, your minimap. And it's unbindable, by the way. I can't change that keybind. I don't care what the cluster jewel is. I'm not grabbing any of those. Uh, should be 10% life. Yep, it is. Yeah, we got a nice amount of HP right here. Going into Act 8. The issue is I don't really have other defensive layers. Like, if I had Determination here, I'd be going crazy. Okay, I don't think there's a single pair of gloves that could be my current ones. I feel like I could probably drop Skitter Bots and I'd be perfectly fine. Alright, tell you what, let's, after this dude, let's go grab AoE, like mini AoE. Let's grab mini AoE, then we grab Reservation, then I fit in Determination, and then we literally pop off. I do, however, need to go grab uh, Determination to level it up in my offhand. What's on the... Nothing. Alright, there's nothing there. Okay, that works. Okay, let's Convocate, let's go ahead and end the Delirium. Ow. Ow again. Oh, I thought I ended the delirium, but I guess I didn't. A helmet, or whatever. A small closer jewel. Oh, was that a helmet? It was a pair of gloves. Yo, there's no way I replace these four link gloves. Or the, the amulet, by the way. 97 life. See, 97 life I could see giving up the shield for it. This should be the last firefly right here, if I counted correctly. Oh, I'm missing space. Yep, there we go. Plus, was your, was your pause timer? Then, yeah, you were probably um, accidentally zooming in too much. Let's grab some portal scrolls. Let's peep the, sh the boots if they're 30 MS. Yo, wait. They're actually kind of crazy. Wait, look at this. They're actually 25 MS with actual life on them. Now, I could make them 30 MS, but there's no real reason to do that. Alright, tell you what. Let's go ahead and grab purchase item. Oh, wrong vendor. Let's grab uh, portals here. Let's go ahead and grab our skill points. Huge amount of skill points. Let's grab... I think Quartz is going to be best. Although Granite would also go kind of crazy here. Uh, we're actually going to grab just Sovereignty right now so I can fit into Term, I think. Oh, but I want levels under Term. Hmm. Determination. Can I just fit this in straight up? That'd be weird. Oh, I kind of can. I'm going to drop uh, Unbound Ailments, and then I should be fine. And then one more level up, and I'll be good. Wow. That's actually kind of crazy. Alright, Cruel Lab. Where am I running, though? Cruel Lab, and where are we going? Where are we dropping? We're dropping top left. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I've got um an Enduring Mana Flask. Alright, if you don't have an Enduring Mana Flask at this moment in time, you're going to have mana problems if you switch to this exact configuration of Wars. Just drop one of them. I drop probably skitter bots. I can leave it in though. Like I can afford to leave it in because of the mana flask that I have. I'm gonna drop this. Um, which flash should I replace with this? Oh, is this portals? Oh, sick. 
one singular level up and I get mana reservation again. It's like what? 15? Yeah, 15 mana reservation. I could probably drop the accuracy right here, I'm gonna be honest. Every node feels pretty mandatory to me though. Where am I going from here? Top right? Alright, cool. Sounds good to me. Yo, let me jump over. Hello? Why was that so painful? Alright, it's top right, top right, top right, top middle. Ooh, switching it up. By the time I get to that layout, it should be noticeable. I don't need what's friends. Do I have to get rid of this? I think so. Let's drop Spell Echo. This feels pretty bad, I think. How's my resist looking? Oh, it's looking great. World's smallest bit of lighting res, and then I'm, I'm good to go forever, basically. Okay, Absolution's like permaproc now. Wait a second, is this top right? Yeah, it is. Since my map isn't fully zoomed in, it feels weird now. I'm dying. I'm good. Yeah, we need Determination to be leveling up. Am I missing Strength again for Absolution? Man. Man. Why is my gem always underleveled? Is this the right way to go? No, it's not. Dude, I need to craft Strength on gear, I guess. Yep. Sure do. Alright. Did I get Shrink up here? No, that's a node. Dang it. I was really hopeful there. This is a strength node, technically. Why is it just dexterity? Why is it not dexterity and strength? Think about how much easier my life would be, society, if that node was dex and strength instead. Oh, don't kill all the essences, though. I want the keys, brother. I want the keys. Oh, nice. So we actually do get all the, all the keys. All right, what do I do with my inventory, though? Because it's looking awful right now. Okay, top right, top middle. Cool. Ooh, get off of me. Yo, I don't have freeze immunity, so I'm not clicking these. That's just how it's gonna be. Steel infused. Wrong streamer for that. This is not top right. This is top right. So my inventory is garbage right now. Anything else I could do, realistically? That's about it. Yes, sir. Let's drop them bound, I think. Don't see any reasoning for anything else. Also, is determination good? Ah, it's giving us like 20% fizz mitigation. I'll keep it. I can see not using it for a tiny bit, but using it basically means that we are guaran almost guaranteed to not die in this run. Elemental damage could still uh, wreck our day. Where's this strength craft going? Probably on this ring, to be honest. Oh, careful. Whoa, what? I named it at like one of my minions instead of me. Honestly, if I get hit by dual wield sword, I might actually die in one auto attack. Okay, good thing I didn't get auto or aimed at. I don't think any of the shields will be my current one. Okay, we just have a five key day, I guess. Cool, how about the... No, actually, I don't even check the gloves. Stop giving me good items, like good currency. Uh, we're going plus two minion gems, and look, my damage is like 4,300. Now it's 6,200, and also we get another level up right here. Chance to avoid being stunned. Holy, that's a sick enchant, actually. Yeah, the plus two minion gems is really non-negotiable. Alright, let's go craft strength and uh, resist, I guess. So it's going to be like lightning res right here. Res and strength for an augmentation and now I can level up absolution and purity okay we're like huge now all right yeah we're massive okay my absolution absolutely farms now we do it does 7700 damage yo we could actually put onslaught back on I feel like probably it's like actually one-shotting mobs we can also go minion aoe now oh wait no I think I get banner reservation stuff no, my mana reservation feels fine. Oh, I guess if I kept the unbound ailments and I got the mana reservation, I could equip the unbound ailments. Oh, oopies. I messed up moment. That's a tacticular moment right there.
corrupting blood immunity. Uh, I don't know about recovery rate being better than that. I'm not sure what the actual over under is on that one, boss man. Should I go into minion uh, AoE here or the mana reservation? I feel like my life gets a bit better if I get some mana reservation though. For sure, for sure. Is there anything on Herald of Purity? No, there is not. Okay, we got a ring. You know what? I'm actually kind of done looking at uh, at my items. I think my items are definitely good enough to take an act on Katava at this moment in time. And like, look my HP once I'm like done with my passive tree and get some more levels. Yeah, minion AoE, please. All right, check out the single target. Wait, we don't even have zombies. Where did my zombies and my carry angel them go? Oh, I desummoned them because I took off my gloves. Oh, so we didn't have we baby 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 baby. I didn't have a uh, feeding frenzy on the whole time, huh? Nope. All right, go get them, lads. Let's see what the item drops are. Let's peep the ring. It's garbage. Mesh beats. No, I don't need that. What about the shield? Oh, the belt could be an upgrade, actually. Don't know if I believe in anything else. Plus nine life. Huge. <sighs> Alright, literally everything's a downgrade. Cool. This moment in time, I think I just zoom. This boat's kind of popping. Really wish I could fit an onslaught again. No can do, though, boss. No can do. It'd have to be like a two blue, one red, one green. Actually, the boots are pretty reasonable for that if I chromatic them properly enough. But then where do I put this green socket at? Nowhere. That's where. As a crate, what about this? This is faster attacks, isn't it? Yeah. What if I grab the other uh, chest piece, though? I feel like putting an onslaught for, like, 2x is pretty worth. No? Like, look at my damage. It's insanely high. What I drop? Summon Phantasm, I guess? That's kind of annoying, but yes, I think that's what I would drop. Okay, what was it again? That color, exactly. Controlled, Fist of Lightning, Absolution, and then I need like an Onslaught. Oh, I can't grab Onslaught at a high level. We just straight up dropped it, because I didn't think it'd be good. Onslaught, it's like gonna be level one for now, but that's fine. I think that it does so much on hit damage now. Where's this chest piece at? I tossed the other chest piece. Oh no, that's tragic actually. Let's go ahead and just destroy that, I guess. Okay, let's chrome this chest piece to have one singular green socket, just like that. Spirit offering, perfect. Let's go ahead and grab uh, some portal scrolls, I guess. There we go, perfect. I guess I could equip that CB immunity during dangerous moments and times. I'm fine. Okay, at this moment in time, I think all my gearing is perfect. Let's go ahead and replace this uh, roll in this flask. Crit chance, immunity to freeze. I don't like restoration though. Chance to avoid being frozen, now that's okay. If the prefix is good enough. Wait, what? Reduced effect, I guess that's fine. Sure, why not? How is this charges when I'm hit by an attack? That's fine as well. Yeah, as where we start wanting a phasing flask. I really wish I got attack speed on a suffix actually. Chance to avoid being stunned. Let's go ahead and reroll this. Unless the prefix is insane. That's yeah, alright. Let's go attack speed, attack speed, charge recovery. Let's attack damage leech. Check out the skip, by the way. That's increased armor. Oh, but increased effect, less duration, I like that. Heli res. Attack speed. Reduced effect? Eh. Eh. I guess, man, I guess. Also, I am dropping quite a bit of damage here, so I can pop on slot back on the build. I feel like it's pretty worth, though. Just check out the speed. Alright, no more gearing to Lactin Katava. And Lactin Katava should easily be, like, sub 320 able Wait a second. What is the, uh, what is the BA time here? 242? Somewhere around there. Am I missing any many minions? No, I'm good. I'm not gonna gear anymore. Picks up every piece of 
item I find on the ground. Uh, pretty okay-ish, I guess. Do I want a 30% of my boots, the boots? No, I don't. Not really. I got some nice little stats on them. How about my resists? Yeah, once I complete Merc Lab, our resists are more than good enough. This is the minion damage and resist one, right? Yeah, it is. Then I don't need this one. I was thinking if I use like Flesh Offering, I could probably use Flesh Offering and the, the Offering skills, but if I were to do like a map speed run, I would definitely go Commander of Darkness. Just because it's so much easier to gear with. This build reminds me of uh, playing the the Spectre Necromancer, because that build, like, you get plus two minion gems, and all of a sudden you just, like, literally walk through mobs, just, like, actually one-shot them. Now, there's an interesting timing on, like, I think it's, like, somewhere around, like, the level 54 version of the gem, and then on top of that you get, um, the plus two, and the combination of those two things gives you, like, an extra Spectre. And that is huge. Yeah, let's go minion AoE, minion AoE, minion AoE. So it's like 15, 30, 45, and then 60 on this. Nice. I wonder if crit chance matters here. Nah, I feel like my crit chance of these guys is pretty low. I don't know if I just want to like straight up get rid of these. If I want to stash them, I'll stash them. This should be dropped, I think. I feel like at this point, conductivity is probably a bit better than uh, Despair, by the way. So you probably want to switch over to conductivity. I see it. See what? Good song. Thanks. Okay. Oh, I'm out of strength again, so I can't level up the term anymore. Stop stopping for gear. What am I doing? How do I get dexterity? I don't know how to get more of that. Shoulder. Ah! I missed the waypoint like three times trying to grab it. As long as I cast Absolution every eight seconds or every six seconds or so, and it procs Onslaught, I don't have to cast anything again. I almost wonder if losing the Summon Phantasm was like not worth it. I don't think my single target really suffers at all. I mean, to be honest, did it look like I was suffering back there? Not really. Where'd Son of Phantasm with the girl, though? I think I moved it somewhere else, right? Yeah, I moved it to the chest piece. Okay, I just want to make sure it's gaining levels. As long as it's gaining speed, violence, momentum, you know? We're fine. Yeah, I'm literally getting stuck on every single mob. Okay, Onslaught keeps leveling up. Probably a 242 rec date would be my guess, guess. Every level is minion AoE, which matters more and more. Oh, wait, I have the POB from earlier actually pulled up. I can just peep if AoE matters or not for the minions. I'm gonna guess it's not. It's only gonna affect me. Yeah, it only affects player. Okay. Because I was thinking about getting the, uh, the Templar AoE. For even more, but I don't think it matters. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is just minions have AoE and not myself. Yeah, it is. Level 53 is actually like as perfect as it gets, I think, on XP. I'm not gonna do the death skip because I'd like the run to be deathless. Although the death skip in action. 8 does save quite a bit of time, that's another level on Absolution, cool. The Death Skip is basically, you place a portal at the, uh, let's go and grab that. You place a portal at the Solaris Lunaris fight, then you die intentionally to Lunaris, and then once you, uh, once you revive, you revive in town. So, like, you get the Lunaris Orb, you revive in town, and then you have, um, both orbs, and you get to skip that giant walk that you have to do to go back. That's pretty worth it. 
DV proc and onslaught though. Look, my damage. Let's go and save the build. Let me go ahead and import this build into POV, and I can do that while I'm fighting uh, the other dude. Start, import. I guess this minion AoE, and then I'm gonna get the mana reservation to make my build feel a little bit nicer. Okay, what ring do I need? I think I needed like some sort of lightning res, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's pretty garbage though. I'm gonna stash these two. Also the chaos orbs. Also move this over. Also ratio plus he fell off. Move this over, move that over, that over, skill point. And then we grab mana reservation. Mana reservation, right? Yeah it is. I believe my character is not imported yet. Oh, no, it's not. I didn't import the items and skills, but other than that, we're good. Alright, nice. My build should feel really good now. And let me see if I need conductivity instead of a uh, despair. Despair is just the best gem you could use in Act 3, whereas at this moment in time, I feel like it's probably conductivity. Items and skills, absolution. Doing about 6k DPS per minion auto attack and 6k per my attack as well because spiritual aid is broken honestly i feel like i probably could have swapped back to uh, onslaught after getting spiritual aid because that was a huge power spike but then getting plus two minion gems we okay let's see new conductivity like level like 10 or something no nah, it doesn't add any damage actually all right turns out it's not better One's messaged me on my phone, on my cellular device. Instead, I'm going to choose to ignore it because I'm gaming. And then at a later date, I will ask myself why nobody messages me anymore. Not before I go back to gaming, of course, but. Any portal scrolls? Yeah, I got a handful of portal scrolls, I'm fine. How's Absolution feel? It feels really good. And then also after getting a, after getting a plus two minions, it feels amazing. I don't think I've ever done a run this long before. I think I've done like a few, I've done many Act 2 runs to figure out the early tree. Then I've done a handful of um, Act 4 runs and this is the only run I think I've gone past like Act 5. I wish I had more water right now. Kind of dying. No! I had to log. I was too busy thinking. Turns out that freeze is pretty deadly. Really wish I didn't have to do that, but if I die, I feel like the entire run's bricked at this moment in time. And I feel like with determination, it's really difficult for me to die. But if I'm frozen, it could happen. You can bring me water. Just send my address. I would give like a fake address. But NWD got banned for um, like meme. Oh, all right, it's fine. All my mistakes are made up for. Turns out I don't have to be good at the game. I just have to find one of these shrines. Yeah, NWD was asked like RiceQT's address. He gave like a fake meme address and he got perma banned for it. So I'm not gonna NWD myself. So that could just be doxing another streamer and not myself, but you know. Yeah, what if I just had perma acceleration shrine? Not quite. I just run was slightly faster, but it's fine. Imagine if I didn't have the Brian King incident and if I didn't have the uh <laughs> the logout incident. And also if my shoulder wasn't killing me. Uh, it's fine, I'm not gonna complain about it anymore. That's the last time I'm gonna complain about it. I lied, I'm gonna complain about it right now. Yo, is this the right way to go? It is not, by the way. It is not gonna be the right way to go. Three chance orbs, that's huge. I should make a sound. I should don't know where to go on tree from here. Can I get over this? Oh, I do know where to go. Heart and soul. HP nodes. And then I can go grab the HP in the witch area, and that should be the last of the passive points that I need. A uh, Dao Distance? I'll pass.
Every level on Onslaught actually feels kind of decent because it increases the duration of the Onslaught. Like, the difference between Onslaught lasting for 4 seconds versus like 7 seconds is huge. They nerfed it down to 4 seconds after Exocon, by the way, and then it just hasn't felt the same since. Yeah, where to go after this? I'm not sure. Probably plus 1 up here or whatever. Which isn't plus 1 Absolution, by the way, it's just plus 1 Zombies and stuff. I could go do the side quest right now, I actually feel pretty zoomy. Issue is, am I tanky enough? You know what, with the term I am. Alright, we're gonna skip like the 242. And we're gonna go do this. I don't think I'm missing any minion nodes at this point. I feel like minion wise, I'm pretty good. Pretty solid. That could be colors, right? No, it's not. It's not colors. Uh, let's go grab trial first. Because this is in fact a Merc Lab run. Aquamarine flask, what am I doing with that? Nothing, I'll tell you that much. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Let's go down this way. And Onslaught proc. I should just be able to walk over all this. Yep, sure am. I kind of want to run a Wrath, but I don't think I run Wrath and turn at the same time without dropping Purity. Which honestly doesn't really help me as much as I probably think it is. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if going crit would be a play. I feel like you don't go crit till like mid maps though. I M O. A granite flask. Uh, yeah, I'd probably take that. Yeah, get off me. T1 map. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? Oh, we are skipping this song. I'm sorry about this. This song is a uh, dark leaf, like, immediately. Yeah, we can grab, uh, Spectres and then, like, Elemental Aegis, or... Not Aegis, uh... The, like, the, the minion tanky you node, know, the minion army thing. And then, plus one Spectre it. And then go back to X7 and summon some uh, Frenzy Spectres, though. I think that's very unnecessary. I think it gives me Frenzies as well, though, does it not? Alright, in that case, yeah, we're gonna do that. Whoa, I'm dying. Can I drop one singular blue gem? I could drop this summon Phantasm over here. Also, how is the minion damage treating me on these supports? Eh, pretty good. I mean, I'm just trying to see if, like, my Karen Jolims and my zombies are dying, and the answer is not really. Okay, I'm pathing to more HP at the moment, though. And then even more HP after. So it's not going to be plus one Spectre quite yet. I think I'm going to grab the HP in the, uh, the Witch area. I think this HP over here, one, two, three, four, five, and then I go up towards plus one Spectre afterwards, and that should be... I should pretty much cover everything I need. I guess I grab like block and stuff as well if I want to. I don't think there's any other nodes that are good. As far as I'm concerned, and then you just follow Zizarin's absolution guide after that. It's pretty uncommon that I do that skill point right then and there. I could have probably have skipped it, but you know, we can run a uh, minion life and then like Spectres for Mag 3. The porcupine instant. Actually no, I don't need this, I need this. And then if I can run Spirit Offering, like over here, we can run like Spectre. Wait, where's Summon Spectre? Oh, I didn't do the 28 gem support. Okay, then yeah, I have to grab Spectres from this, and then uh, Elemental Army. I didn't think it backfire on me like this. Stop! I don't want to look at my friends list like that. Spectre. Elemental Army. There we go. My Spectres are going to be like one shot if I just go there straight now. Masculine urge to move to Belfast and open up a boba shop. Hey, maybe you'd see me while I'm there, dude. If I do go there. Yo, an unset ring, and then we roll it to be insane, and then we have an extra blue socket. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't think a screen gun can really be anything, though. For sure, no. Is there a... I'm pretty sure there's a way to convocate CDR, right? Isn't there? 
Uh, maybe it was just second wind on it. Old second wind, that is. How is this not a level up on uh, some inspectors, by the way? Whatever. I will uh, just take this and do this, I guess. Where's my inspector at? We'll just raise like one of these dudes. Do you get like farmed, by the way? Do you get like farmed? Because I don't want to summon more specters if they're just going to get one shot. Oh, he didn't get one shot. Alright, maybe I should go grab one. It's going to be pretty random frenzy charges though, I'm pretty sure. Is he dead? No, he's not even close to being dead. Yeah, no, he actually didn't even come close to doing. Alright, we go back and we grab the frenzy charge dude. Frenzy charge dude is Act 7, right? Or is it Act 2? Chat, carry me again. I'm pretty sure it's Act 7 for Frenzy Charges. Though I could be wrong on that. Watch the speed, by the way. Watch this violence. It's Act 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you guys are right. Also, I don't even know what my minion targeting or corpse targeting thing is. Let's see if the Spectre stays alive. You know what? Let's, let's give it a couple levels to breathe. And then we'll pop off after that. Two, two, wow, you guys all perked up all of a sudden. Thanks, lads. Speedrunner, by the way. Alright, I'm not grabbing those. Simply just not. I'm gonna be like 2400 HP, which is really comfortable to uh, go to maps with, with some sort of uh, defensive layer. And since we're Necromancer, we get quite a few of those. Let's run maybe one more of these, get more Spectre levels, and then we'll go. Uh, the Spectre leveling in offhand is a different run. Or you're just delirious IRL. I mean, if that froze me, I would just simply log, I think. Because the best part of BA was already over. Alright, there's another Spectre level up. Alright, which one is my targeting key for it? Input. It'll be here somewhere. Oh, there's a different key that you can do for these? Different league mechanics? Huh. Alright, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for... Corpse targeting. It's like backslash. It's like it's like this. Yeah, okay, I found it. Uh, what's the name of the mob that I'm looking for? Frenzy Charge Boy for Mac 2. Pretty sure it's Riverways. It's this guy right here, I know it is. No, not that one. Where is it? Silverback. There you are, friend. Oh, I just destroyed him. No. I just killed him. Okay, there there he is again. Shadow Stalker, that's not what I'm looking for. Silverback, there you are. Yeah, wrong gem. Okay, there we go. To be once again. Carnage Chieftain, wait, what? Old Fields, wait, what? I'm sorry, what? That's not correct. It's not Silverback? Huh, who, what now? It's this dude you're saying? This dude right here? It's Carnage Chieftain. Alright, I'll trust it. Wait, actually that sounds very correct. Host Chieftain is power. Alright. Thanks to the carry loads. I mean, I probably could have already finished my BA farming by now, but it's fine. We're just gonna go to like, close to 60 I think. Actually, I could choose the run and just like leave a little bit sooner. Our speed is gonna be perfectly fine. So typically in these runs, I farm to about level 60. Yeah, I'll just farm to 60, why not? Yo, look at those frenzy charges. Who is he? As soon as I get plus one uh, specters, by the way, it's like perma triple frenzies on us. Just by the way. That you guys should know. Jeweler's orbs, yoink. The absolute speed of this minion build, by the way. I can see why you guys like playing minion builds. Honestly, once you come online, you really come online in these kind of builds. Am I gearing up in BA? No, my gear's too good. 
My gear is like very map ready, so I'm not gonna bother gearing, but obviously you would like pick up four links, essence them, you know. Oh, is this plus one chaos gems wand? Interesting. Yeah, of course, of course. I got the spectre levels up as if I needed them. In the reality, I know. Plus one lightning or fizz? Yeah, that'd be way better than my current wand. Okay, check this out. Never mind, they're all bad. I don't think one specter ever gets me to uh oh it did it did give me the three frenzy, sorry no man. Okay, I'm online, yep that's what I said. Also, by the way, if you're having a lot of soccer pressure, the the specter is not mandatory in any way, shape or form. And you could, um, you could honestly drop the Spirit Offering as well, but I think it's really nice single target DPS, so I use it. Don't think Balor did. Right. 4B boots, also a map. I shouldn't be grabbing boots like this, honestly. Snow shot. Hmm. I could Chaos Orb a wand, actually. What level is this one? 62, right? Yeah, it is. Literally popping off at the moment. Whoa, humility. If this was um, a league start, I'd be pretty happy with this run, I think. We entered BA at a decent time for this patch, and then on top of that, uh, it was with doing the extra trial plus the uh, the side zone, so it's like even better than normal. I am a tabula. No, we don't farm tabula. You would never farm tabula in a league start. In uh in BA you wouldn't farm up tabula like SSF was. You would farm up the currency for it, sure. But you wouldn't sit here and farm the full card set because you could be here till like well into the seventies. Whereas you could have just entered maps instead. If your goal oh, maybe we do farm up tabula. But <laughs> if you're on like an actual league start, just enter maps like as soon as possible, in my opinion. As soon as you feel comfortable doing it. If you're in hardcore, I guess you could hold off on a bit. 4B gloves, that's technically what I need, yeah. Give me that, and then give me an insane roll. Check this out. Uh, decent dual res, actually. 3v wand. I could blow us that, actually. If I found another one, probably won't, though. Okay, should be two life nodes. It's like travel nodes here, I think. Spectre gaining more tankiness. Priets. Oh, that necromancer feels really, really good. How are we doing today? My friend. Am I missing anything? Like zombies, Karen Jolum, Spectre? Nope. I'm not. I could actually use a spirit offering for even more DPS. Any five link is better than a tabula? True. Get like a five link with like a bunch of like armor and uh an energy shield on it, and you're like way tankier. Like, actually, just way better off. And then pick up like a corrupted six link with colors that you want, and then you're actually just popping. My opinion. It's gonna be way better bang for your buck. Should I just grab all three life nodes? Why not? I don't need plus one specter. Who needs it? Holy damage, dude. Blowing me away, actually. I don't know why I don't race with minions at any point. I guess just because they kind of feel a little weird and they have so much soccer pressure. Yeah, probably. 
Alright, we're about done farming. Maybe give it like one more BA and then we just finish up these last couple lacs and then we finish up a uh, lab as well. I can leave it like 60. Uh, let's just leave now. Let me go ahead and uh, chaos this one a couple times. So we'll be 62 by the end of the run. Check this out. Nope, cast speed. Check this out. Nope. Oh, more cast speed, I guess. More damage as well. 100 mana. And 5 mana is actually pretty cool. Sorry to hear that, Lorenzo. Sorry to hear that happen to your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sad. How am I to double corrupt a tabula? First of all, if you're running incursion in the year 2022, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't land a double corrupt room or like a... Actually, no, I think about it. Incursion's pretty all right. I just hate running the mechanic. If you find it fun, do what you enjoy, of course. Come here. All right. I think doing Shakira and also Valenta will give me the XP I need. Doing a bit earlier is fine. This is the uh, tag cast speed rank two. Where is the thing? Oh, items are fully linked. Check out the six link, by the way. Even though I find a six link, I'm not going to use it, but. Oh, five link. Yo, that's a heathen wand. I wish I used it on that instead. Neither one of these are mirrored, right? Yeah, no, they're not. No. That's a six socket. Are you gonna grab that, I think? Should I essence this? Sure, why not? Ended up being poop. I need space. There we go. I found the thing, finally. Holy, that took way too long, I think. I'm dying. What could I respec if I wanted to get plus one specter? We could inspect the spell damage here. For the plus int whatever. Nodes instead. Give me the storm blade. Oh, I need a one by three, I think. Ah! That's my inventory management so bad. Yeah, I think at this moment in time, we could inspect the uh, spell damage here. That way we get a couple extra points. I don't need to do that right the second though, because I still need to path up that way. Then I get four extra points. So I'm gonna path one, two, then path two down here. Then I can inspect those, those four. That sounds good to me. Oh, we get an extra zombie. I need to go back to town. Let's go to vendor real quick. Is any of this stuff kind of good? Eh, not really. Uh, I didn't really do it, but sure, I'll take credit for it. I do need help with something. This. Do I have any alchemies? I do. I'm going to scour as scour alchemy this. Check this out. Right, that's literally the worst one I think I've ever seen before in my life. Alright, give me the bottled storm. Thank you. I can't reroll this anymore. Fortunate. They wanted good stats. Yeah, they wanted okay stats, but I'd rather use a heathen wand. I wish I didn't chaos spam my other wand. I didn't think I'd get one of these. I'm looking for Shakira right now. Where's Shakira? At? That's the Forbidden Vault. My prediction then is that it's going to be done this way. I replace this onslaught with I guess I could re-chrome the item and put summon phantasm back on the item. Sure. It's kinda weird, but not like I need the damage anyways, as you can see. Yeah, we're gonna inspect like one, two, three, four, go one, two right here. And then we're gonna put one, two points in here, then go one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm dying. Yeah, that should be good. That should be everything I need, I think. I can go more HP nodes, I guess. Afterwards, sure. An aquamarine flask. Stop giving me those. Also, we get a skill point from this and a skill point from uh, the other thing in Act Nine. So then I just need to hit sixty-one, and then I've got uh, my full minion wheel. Another carnage chieftain would be perma triple frenzies, and then everything's perma triple frenzied. So I'd be very excited for that. The 
just look at this dude, look at the speed, the violence, the momentum. Also probably better for me to run Wrath. This would be a good time to PUB the build a bit. Well, if you see in the PUB that I'm using Wrath instead, then go ahead and swap over to that. Because I'm going to edit the PUB ever so slightly, so do as I say, not as I do. Alright. Daughter. Yeah, skill points don't matter until I have uh, all four of them. Because when you think about it, if I were to grab that skill point right now, it'd just be 10 inch and it wouldn't do anything. Complication, despair. I guess generosity plus wrath would be probably pretty sick. I would argue that's probably more damage than purity plus uh, skitterbots, but who knows? Not like I need the damage anyways. Oh, all my minions are frozen. Literally all of them are frozen. What the heck? That's rigged. 25 in this? Yeah. Not fun. Yo, is the calendar dude up here? Because if he is, I'd like to have a word with him. Oh, I can actually equip a level 60 flask. There's Boulderback. Yo, what up? Reduce charges. Now I'm looking for like bubbling. Oh, that was actually CB immunity. Ooh, that's a mistake. Immunity poison. Divine orb, you say? Sure. I'm looking for a good prefix here. I guess I could roll this while I'm waiting on bosses. Yeah, I'll do that ball, uh, mid boss fight. That essence is pretty mediocre. Gamma the what? What is this? Wait, what? No way, I just found that flask. Alright, let's go into this league mechanic. Let us see. Did somebody say C? That's a long standing League of Legends player, I know what that means. It means candy. That's what they mean. Get candy. Alright. Lost 4.9x, unfortunate. Oh, the watch's eye. You always sell it on ID, brother. I guess I'm too late to tell you that though. Because here's the issue with gambling watch's eyes. Is like... Let's say you find a watch's eye that is just immunity to usefulness. Then you've just completely lost all of your money. Now let's say you found an amazing one-of-a-kind watch's eye. Yeah, good luck selling that. Alright, especially if it's for some niche build. Like, think of a build that uses an ore that's, like, not super popular, but is actually, like, really, really good. I'm trying to think of an example, but all I can think of is, like, my old Watcher's Eye that had, like, a bunch of uh, anger essences, or a bunch of anger mods on it. And it was, like, only one build used that, and it was Grimrose Fire BV. But the Fire BV video wasn't quite released yet, and so it wasn't quite popular. And by the time, like, it was popularized... I'd already quit the league. Oh, wait, this should have been an augmentation. What am I doing? Instant recovery on low life. Not quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for instant recovery all the time. Give me that. Also, don't I have baubles? I have one. I should have probably used it. Yeah, exactly. Like, And then, let's say that you found triple hatred instead. Who's going to have the, like, three mirrors on hand to buy that anyways? Now, my issue is also that I'm doing Uber Elder so early on in the league that, uh... That who could start gambling away at, at some at some boo builders right that early on. Almost nobody. Yeah, your impale DD one. Your impale whatever. Oh, that's actually an amazing wand. Let's go and link that up. It's 20 cast speed and like 6 trillion lightning damage spells. 11,000 to 13,000 damage per second. Skitterbots, spirit offering. It's gonna drop these wands off then. Also drop off the currency. And this isn't quite what I wanted to do. Who do I give the calendar to? I don't know who I give the calendar to. Pretty sure it's the same mob. One singular orb of unmaking. Well, grits. Poor Grim had 10 hours before I beat the league. I'm not killing Uber Elder at 10 hours in the league. It's a little bit longer than that, friend. Okay, let's go like this, this. Hello? Okay, there he is. Took you long enough. Uh, that's pretty okay, but not good enough. 
for my intents and purposes. No. Recovery to minions? That's actually pretty nice, but my minions aren't really dying, so... Again, no thank- ooh, instant recovery, there we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, follow me! Follow me! And then I don't really get to do this. And then follow me over here. There we go. My love. And then now I get plus one specter. And then I think I go to my hideout, if I'm not mistaken. To summon the uh, specter real quick. There it is. I see it. Connor Chieftain. And then I hit control. And then specter. And then there. Boom. Wait, what? Where's my specter at? Oh, I didn't put the point in. Oh, no. Tragedy strikes. Connor Chieftain. Control R. Nice, double specter, other zombie, cool, hail. Keep trying to do fear and you keep failing. Well, if you don't, if you're unable to do fear, you're losing money, like a lot of money. If you brick one set, you're probably down a lot of money already, on average. You'd have to really profit to be able to make money off that. Just saying, brother, just saying. I wish I got some more strength here actually for the term. Right, where do I go now, Entry? I haven't thought this far. Oh, jeez. I didn't think I'd get this far. Where to, I wonder? Currency, money, garbage. Are you doing it for money? You just want to beat it? No. Oh. In that case, just juice up your build some more. I mean, that seems pretty obvious, but it's the truth. Should I wait a second? I should probably wait a second, huh? If I had some sort of mana gain, I'd be able to sustain my mana. Oh, I know where to go on tree. I can go for life nodes. Whoa! Like life around like the uh, the Templar area. You know? There's like a bunch of life nodes over there. Now the question is, what is the most efficient? I want to say it's over here. It's devotion. One, two, three, four, five. And then I path down this way as well. Oh, it's already dead. Why am I so slow? Okay, actually it's just because of a uh, temp chains, I see. Whoa, damage. I should probably have checked that shield. yep -a -jah. All right, once I do Merc Lab, I think Commander Darkness is gonna pop off. And not before, yeah, yeah, yeah. An ultra me, I'd go back for that. Yeah, life notes sound pretty good right about now. Also, am I perma frenzy charge gaming or what? Kind of. Sort of. At least none of my minions are actually taking any damage, is the cool part. Okay, let's compare these two labs. I'm pretty sure they're just straight up better, because it's what, like 9% attack and cast speed for having three auras? Yeah, it is. Also, I don't know if there's more auras that affect that. Like, are these considered auras? Like, Feeding Frenzy, is that considered an aura? Like, I doubt it is, but... I'm pretty sure it's just like actual aura auras. How much damage can I do to this guy? Not enough, apparently. Built a juicer, yeah. Yo, die before phasing. Okay, never mind. Build sucks. If I juice my build more, or if I juice build more, I'll beat it because my build is strong, not because I played the fight well. 
I mean, y yeah. <laughs> yes. But I almost guarantee you, like, nobody's going to perfectly play the feared meticulously. Everybody's just going to overgear the fight. It's a stat check fight, not a skill fight. I don't know to turn the calendar into in uh, X8, Direct 9, or whatever. Did I turn the skill point in? Oh, I got like a shield. Wait, I already finished the quest. Wait, what? Alright, well. If you're just trying to play it well, then it's fine. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. I see your point. Like, if your league goal is just to beat the feared, and then that's it, you want to peace out? Like, sure. Totally beat on 10k DPS. Listen, the only person that could beat the feared on 10k DPS would be Ty23 or Kerbinator. The Kerbinator, of course. I wonder if I take off Holy Dominion at this moment in time. I almost don't want to take it off. But I almost do. Yo, jewelry, sick. We come back to this anyways. A heavy belt. I do be needing strength. Yo, it's 85 life with cold rays. Wait a second. Is that not pretty cool? A silver flask. We arrived. It arrived. What are I placed though? Charges when hit by an enemy. Of course. And bad suffix. I guess I replaced the jade. Oh no, my attack speed. Alright, we don't drop it for now. I think I'd actually lose speed if I did that. Ooh, absolution level up. Big. Huge. Meaty. Their path around the weird way? Or their path through the LA damage? I guess I could path through the LA damage, that's fine. If somebody good notes for this build, I mean, you can feel free to take literally whatever you want, whenever you want, I think. I actually think that uh, the Merc Lab is up to the individual if they want to go the offering stuff, or if they want to go oh, Spring Leaf, or if they want to go Commander of Darkness. Personally, I think I'd go Commander of Darkness, because it's up all the time, right? Whoa. Look at the dams. Peep the boots. 30 MS, cold res, actually not bad. Bad colors though, so can't really do, no can do boss. Well, I don't think I'm missing any passes at this moment in time. Pretty sure I'm good to go. I should probably stash all my currency, huh? Yeah, I probably should. Nah, I'm good. I don't need that. Isn't that just regen? Yeah, those are just regen. Pretty sure I could drop minion accuracy at this moment in time. Pretty sure my minion accuracy is good enough. Oh, also, I could fit in uh, probably vitality. If I put on like vitality as increased HP regen or mana reservation or whatever, I'm not gonna fall. I'm not gonna go for that gimmick. You know what? Since I have so few points to spend, I'm just gonna go with that. Because I could go 1 2 and then spend like another point there, but now I'll pass. Shielding the good? Nope, it's not. Let's drop these two items off. What time am I looking at here? Like at 3.30 or something with like turbo farm? That sounds pretty good. Let's start pathing this way. I don't think I get another skill point on tree or anything. I know, I'm pretty sure I don't. Dude, I'm getting stuck on everything. Every little bit of terrain. Shield charge moment. My shoulder is really killing me and I really need to take a break. Alas. 
the tuber. The sub 330 YouTuber. Determine level up. Oh, because I'm getting strength nodes. Huge. I'm missing anything else. Oh, shield charge. No, you poor thing. Oh, no. Now that I know that shield charge was just straight up missing like 5% or more movement speed. Oh, my. I didn't level up shield charge for like the longest time. Oh, no. All right. Is it a reset, boys? Might be a reset. Okay, top right, top left, top right, top right, top left, top right. You guys got that? That's gonna be on the quiz. I mean, first of all, shield charge wasn't on attack of the moving, and now you're telling me shield charge is like level 5 or something because I used a scouring orb on it in Act 4, and I remember doing that. That's scuffed, dude. Okay, top left here. Whoa! I don't know, I just did 90% of my HP bar, but I don't appreciate that. I'm fine, by the way. Yeah, Shield Charge could be so much faster right now if I knew those that know, dude. The Shield Charge incident. Uh, Charge Disruptors and Fonts. That's honestly a pretty bad laugh. <laughs> Oh, also, it's a uh, dual sword, so it's even worse. Does he have any charges? No charges. All right, good. Do I leave the fonts up? I mean, if I get hit by anything, I'm pretty sure I die. Nah, we'll leave fonts up. It's an extra key. Why not? Kind of giga chad, but... Society, if I could roll my, my silver flask well. Do I have augmentations? No, I'm out. Like, out, out. This is top right, then top right, and top left, and top right. Yeah, it is. Cool. Okay, again, top right. Which shrine is this? If it's acceleration, it's worth. It's not. Should I get an item that instantly kills a font? Probably. Am I going to? No. Yo, what's up, dude? The broken minion? Of course. Actually, I wasn't. I was using Holy Flame Totem, Flame Wall at the start of the run. Not using the broken minion. Because as soon as I release that. As soon as I release that strat, Jazz Beep, it's over. My speedrunning career, over. Handicapping myself. Well, I can't just leak the SRS. Ooh, almost leaked. SRS Totem plus SRS Brand. Oh, wait, no, I didn't realize I was unmuted. Oops. Alright, it's top left, then top right. Should be easy to remember from here on out. Yo, is this the right way to go? It looks right to me. Forget it, dude. I'm walking over the fire. Through the literal fire and flames. I'm out of mana flesh, though. Oh, uh, I'm scared. Yo, this build's pretty sick, though, Jezbeep. Might be a potential starter in the future. But I think uh, you don't want to play another minion build again, do you? Is this a super fast layout, or what is it? Yeah, it is. It's like right over here. I'm gonna save my uh, my defensive flasks, I think. Just in case, you know, just in case Zoro gets any funny ideas. <laughs> mods? Yeah, mods, hello? Ban that guy. Whoa, get off me. Whoa! I am actually pretty sure I give me one shot right now. Wait, what? Oh wait, no, charge disruptors don't give a key if I don't like permagisum. Alright. Peep the Merc Lab enchant. 
No, oh, six all good. 26 spell suppression. Okay. That's fair. Wait a second. That's attack speed. Would I just straight up use that? You know what? I'm gullible enough to do it. Peep the Merc Lab enchant. Destructive link. Wait, attack and cast speed. Have you killed recently? No. Wait, does that e that doesn't count because, well, I mean, sometimes I kill recently. But mostly it's my minions getting the kill. It's not wasted though. Give me my regrets, please. Sick. You know what? I'll just stash this because I can't three socket it right now. I'll stash that as well. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much complete with the campaign. This should be easily sub 330able. This is a pretty insane time. Given how many mistakes were made on like shield charge and stuff. If I were like sat here and mid-max this run every single day, I could make it five minutes faster probably. Also my inventory management wasn't that great. Got kind of carried on items. I think the cider breath was probably the most insane thing I dropped in Act 1. We ball. Yeah, we ball, I guess. There's no vanish here. Not while you're a mod. Think about it like this beats. At least it didn't tell me to get candy, you know? Then you might be in some trouble. Guess I don't eat candy. Mistakes? Yeah, I made some mistakes. Two of them. This is somehow the right way to go. I don't know how. I guess attack speed doesn't actually matter because it won't affect shield charge, right? I don't think so. Because they fixed that with bright beak attack speed. Get candy in game? Dude, I don't eat sweets. I haven't eaten pie, cake, candy, ice cream. And if I did eat any of those things, I would consume all of them. I would. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like Kirby or worse, because I'd be large. Like I would actually unironically gain so much weight in the span of like five days if I were to start eating all that garbage. I'm glad I cut that out when I did. I'm starting to gain a little bit of weight now, I'm trying to lose it. Hence why I pulled my shoulder today. AMA. Orb of Binding. Mentally ill diamond players. Yeah, that doesn't apply to me anymore. Masters on two accounts, by the way. Is that an Arcanist? Oh, it's an Artisans. I'm out. What's the picture behind me? The picture behind me? Oh, well, it's definitely not Weeb, and it's definitely... Definitely not from your name. <laughs> How many Weebs did I just upset right there? It's from a silent voice. Alright, check this chest piece out. It's garbage. What about this chest piece? Yeah, garbage. Alright, get get out of here. Drinking over water for over four years. That's what happens, dude. That's what happens. Alright, next node, we get devotion, and then we just like literally pop off. Yo, Balor, what's up, dude? Keep the run. Pretty good, right? Pretty decent. Chisel. Yoink. Ooh. Onslaught procs. <laughs> I'm too lazy to recall my stuff. Docs arrive this run, I know that's what I'm saying. Yo, flush offering, it just straight up dropped for me. Cool. Look at my resist, too. <laughs> Yo, I'm like LA weakness capped, dude. <laughs> Huge. Fizzed lightning. Dude, you know what I made a mistake of? I told shield charge not to level up again. And now I was like, oh, what is that? Like, I told that like six, six acts ago. Oh, I guess if you're listening to this on YouTube, you can't hear the double tank where we just dropped an exalted orb. Stay mad, haters. Stay mad. You guys want me to delete it? I'll slam an item to make you guys happy to appease the speedrunning gods. I think I slam my wand, honestly. Probably slam my wand. Wait, isn't it already like... No, it doesn't have spell damage on it. 
I don't think a wand can roll like a cold damage or fire damage and then also roll spell damage though. This is literally a waste of an exalt because I could craft something here. But check this out. Bam. Accuracy rating. That's huge. Hope you guys are happy about that. What else did I drop? Literally nothing. Oh, I didn't close my eyes. Maybe that's why. You guys are right. <laughs> Look at that damage, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's that's ethical, I think. Sacrifice made. Yeah, it's like a 328, 32730. Act 10 Katava, and we're ending at like 63, almost 64. You just gotta tank yourself. Nice. I actually had to stop watching like Sometimes when I would play a lot of PoE, I would stop watching streamers that were like blasting super hard because they would hear too many tinks and then I would think it would be my tink, but it wasn't. I actually kill the heart so fast that I don't get any mana charges back. This is awkward. But I can't really go back for fla- or uh, yeah, I mean I can go back for flas, but I don't want to. I need to tag the two ads at the side. You know what? Just the zombies and the carrion golems are enough. This isn't even an absolution run. Like, look at this, dude. My absolutions aren't even up. They're not even alive. This is just a just a minion run at this point. Oh, 92 life on the shield. Pavlov dog, I gotta say. Win he, win the, if he, and the, he, win he, they, win, yeah. Anyways, 328 run. I'll go ahead and round it up a little bit. Why not? Yo, what's up, Glorious Beard? Oh, this cringe. I'm actually dying of cringe right now. I'm just going to call it 328, though. Yo, that actually be sick if I crafted a mess on that. Alright, lads. I'll tell you what. Glorious Beard thinks a sub. I don't know why this is so weird, by the way. I don't know why it's so weird. Wait, how do I get there again? Oh yeah, it's just through here. I'm gonna show you guys a map clear. I know you guys already saw the BA, but I'm gonna show you guys a map clear just to show that the build is indeed functional. And then it's good. I'm just gonna rent an ID. Actually, I'm pretty sure I could kill myself to LE reflect. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. Slash passives. Oh, I forgot to grab the last two. And then slash deaths. There you go. Zero deaths. Where's this passive points from? Epilogue speed tech? Yeah, of course there is. Where's Lonnie at? She's like right here, right? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so as you can see, grab this. Slash passives. We have everything in the game. All 24. We're good to go. Nice. Bam. And now I'll just showcase a map clear with this build. I don't know why people who play this build look like they're playing it so slowly when the build can actually go really, really fast. Couldn't tell you. Maybe they just forget to equip a Quicksilver, but I know from like almost every Absolution run I've seen, it straight up looks like they don't have any speed on their build whatsoever. Look, all my gems are like turbo under level 2. So it gets only stronger than this. My build's faster, your build's also like 100x and you stole a headhunter because it's not yours because you can't afford headhunter because you're too poor. Called out. But yeah, the build's pretty good. Uh, if you guys on Twitch have any questions, if you're on YouTube, you can check out twitch.tv slash Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys here and now, like, do you guys like hearing just the voice? I feel like in the future. I should probably do in-game audio because it sounds a little weird, right? Hopefully it's not too jarring. I might redo in the future if uh, you guys think it's a little weird. Uh, minion runs always do really well, so, you know, hopefully I can get a few more uh, boba teas this month. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the map clear. Alright, thank you everyone for watching.